Oh my god. Somebody said, Joe, are you 27 and still 5'6? I am 20. And no, I am not 5'6. Also, hello, chat. How is everybody doing? I don't think this is the noty chat, but I also don't know. I got a new mic stand. Do y'all see it? Y'all fuck with the new mic stand? Yeah or nay? Doesn't cover the screen as much. The mic is fixed. The, the mic is fixed. It doesn't, um, yeah, we see. Yeah, I know. It doesn't, it doesn't cover my screen as much. I don't know if that's good or bad. I see no difference. Well, the other mic was like that. You realize the other mic covered the screen way more. Like, if you go back to, like, yesterday's VOD, Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Sunday? It's a react day today, chat. Dub in the chat for that. It's a fucking react day, as per usual, on this fine fucking Sunday. Every goddamn Sunday is a react day, unless I have something planned for, for a specific Sunday. But... The majority of Sundays are React Sundays. Poop for the sub. Joe Barton, top for the sub. Evo and Joe Wilding for the fucking sub. Joe Wilding for the two-year sub. Big dubs. And Tonbull for the five fucking gifties. And Crazy for the sub. We have a bunch of reactions today, chat. I am a little bit late. That is my fault. Quackhead for the fucking five gifted subs as well. Tonbull for the five gifteds, Crackhead0104 for the five gifteds, NBD for the sub, and Faithy for the three hundred bets, Troden, Hoppin, and Z-Pack for the fucking sub. So many goddamn subs. HX for the sub as well. Holy shit, chat. Did I fix my mic? Let's let's address that first. If you were in yesterday's stream, you probably uh, saw at least a minute or two of a 45-minute segment of me struggling to attach my mic to my mic stand. As you can see here, uh, I kind of ripped the shit out of this screw, but now it kind of just looks silver. Uh, I had to buy a whole new attachment. I had to buy a whole new mic stand. Uh, so we actually have a new mic stand. But, but chat, the reverse dub of this is that it doesn't cover my screen as much. If you check my other VODs, if you check my older streams, right? Like this is one from two days ago. If we pull up to the to the face cam here, you can see. Oh God, it kind of looks the same. Oh, you can see when it when it's in its normal position, it actually covers my screen more than this one. So now you can see more of the Bartman. Now I can't hide behind my mic during scary reacts. <laughs> That's the L. That's the reverse L. When I'm scared in the reacts, I can't go like this because there's nothing to hide behind. I have to go like that. And even then, this doesn't fucking cover me. The other ones cover me. Dude, that's what I would always do when we do scary reacts, and now I can't. Now I have to fucking actually just sit there and watch it. Or just cover my eyes, I don't know, like a fucking 10-year-old. Jesus Christ. Brooke for the Thringe Bits, how's your day? Uh, Good, how's yours? It's uh, Loxy, uh, Z-Cope, and Cold for the sub. C-Vang for the Thringe Bitties. Can you flex your triceps? I'm not standing up to do a tricep flex, but I mean, I, I guess that's it. Cacti for the three inch bitties. Uh, just got done practicing for a bowling regional. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I bowled my highest game of 237 today. Wow. 237. Chat, what is the highest you've ever bowled in real life? I've probably bowled like a 150. Maybe. Like a maybe a 150. You sound sick? Dude, I've been losing my voice every... I My voice is never going to heal because I keep screaming. On Tuesday, when I'm actually off of streaming, it should be a bit better because uh, I'll have a day of rest. So that, that might make it a bit better. But today, yeah, I'm going to sound sick. I'm going to sound like my voice is shot because it is. Cold for the five fucking gifted. Skis for the 2,000 biddies. First time watching you on Twitch. Big dub. Fiery for the sub. Kane for the fringe bets. First time donating. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Amy? Ben, random, and poop for the sub. Two inch for the three inch bitties. I told you it was arm, but no, you refused to listen to master two inch. It wasn't the arm, dickhead. It was the attachment. It wasn't the mic arm. Kratos for the three inch bitties. I just got a whole new mic arm because the attachment wouldn't fit that mic arm. General for the sub. Kratos for the three inch bits. Have you heard there's hackers and gorilla tag and they chase you and ban you? 
No, and I don't play Gorilla Tag, so I don't really care. Anyways, can we get into the reacts chat? Big dubs for that. Thank you for all the subs and all the biddies in the intro of this stream. Cold for the five gifteds again. Thank you for that. White for the sub and ski for the seven hundred bits. <gasps> Let's showcase what our reactions today are. Starting off, tried and true, Darman vid. As per usual, chat, right? We always watch the Darman vids. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh explaining which Pokemon is the hottest. Whoever the fuck sent me this video in, in the video suggestion tab, this is an 11-minute video about which Pokemon is the hottest. Why? I mean, like, why? Low punny? I mean, we'll see. I'm probably not going to watch the whole thing. We'll take a gander at it, though. It, it piques my interest. I want to know what this man is about to say. Bro's got a whiteboard to explain what the fucking hottest Pokemon is. Then we go on to uh, prison food, uh, like, basically taste test uh, with a bunch of people. Six people with autism versus one fake, the levels of wealth. Uh, visiting the tribe that eats humans, the only cannibal tribe left. Uh, living in a 15-square-foot apartment. And then we are going to some scary reacts to end the day. Off as per usual. Cold for the tier two sub. Ducky for the 300 bits. I uh, have not been able to catch a stream in a while, but been watching the VODs. Glad your mic is fixed. What's well, up, my mic? Is my mic stand? I was laughing my ass off at work hearing you rage. Yeah, no, that pissed me off yesterday that my fucking mic stand wasn't working. Mason for the sub wads, he for the 300 bets. What is your favorite flavor of G Fuel? Probably Hype Sauce. Nico for the 300 bets. How many wiener dogs could you take in a fight? An unlimited amount. They have two-inch fucking legs. Their legs are this big. No wiener dog is killing me. Even if there's millions of them, they can't... What are they going to stack on top of each other? Somebody said, what the fuck is going on with these viewers? What do you mean? When is the next FMV game? Wednesday. We're going to play two FMV games Wednesday, probably. Pud for the sub. Let's get into the fucking game. Or not the game. Oh, my God. Let's get into the reacts, chat. Jesus Christ. Rich woman shames man with tattoos. What happens next will shock you. How many five-year-olds could you take in a fight? Yeah, why are y'all asking me these hypotheticals? 1,235. Five-year-olds are, are, I, okay, I don't know if this is going to be, I, I, I don't want to say easily killable, but like, they're not going to, they're not going to, they're not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? It's a five-year-old. They're about two feet tall. They're, you, you grab one by the legs and use them as a battering, a battery weapon. You know how many, like, like you just start swinging them. Yeah, like, they're not going to, they're not going to be able to take you, right? Like, how are they going to kill me? How would a five-year-old kill me? Even a hundred five-year-olds, what are they going to kill? What are they going to stab me? They don't know how to use a knife. I mean, they probably do. It's not that complicated. Burrito for the sub. Ducky for the fringe events. I was going to dip, but I have to see these reactions now that I've seen them. The Jubilee one's going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. No, I'm actually going to move that one up. I'll, I'll swap that one like this because I was going to do that anyway. Anyways, let's get into the reacts chat. Dogman for the sub and Carter for the fringe events. Rich man, rich woman shames man with tattoos. What happens next is shocking. A genuine Darman video today, not an off-brand. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, Kunihita for the 400 bits. Love watching you uh, so much. I hope your day is going great. Thank you. Hello. Oh, is it a boy or is it a girl? Yo, you would never catch me doing that shit, though. You would never catch me doing that shit. Aw. Aw. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I hate children. I hate children. They're the most annoying thing in the world. Um, am I going to have kids one day? Yeah. Are they going to annoy the fuck out of me? Yeah. Uh, dude, all they do is cry. Like, that's literally it. Like, I'm not going to be, aw. Aw. It just shit its pants. Is it a boy or a girl? Aw. I don't No. Lil' Sophia for this fucking sub. Or Lil' Soph, not Sophia. Thank you for the sub. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Amber, for allowing my son to stay with us until he finds a job. He can't stay with his dad anymore. Oh, of course. You know, if Sam is anything like you, I'm sure he's going to find a job in no time. I mean, you've taken such great care of Timmy since he was in diapers. And... Letting Sam stay here is the least that I can do. 
I really appreciate that, Miss Amber. Oh, no, no, don't worry about those. I'll take care of the dishes. <sighs> Thank you, Maria. You know, not a lot of live-in nannies do housework, so I really appreciate you. NPC conversation. NPC conversation. This is the most useless shit in the world. I would never have this cop Dude, these types of conversations in real life, this is, where, this is where I have my foot out the door. This is where I'm trying to leave the whole fucking conversation. You're bugging the fuck out. You think I'm actually sitting here talking about this shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're just dragging it on. Thanks. Just one thank you. They have to go in-depth about it. It's a fucking two-minute thank you. Just to fucking say thank you. That's it. God damn, dude. You ever been in one of those conversations where you're talking to somebody and you don't want to talk to them and you keep leaving? Bro, I clapped up this one guy five times. Or not clapped up, dapped up. I always fuck that up. Dude, literally five times. Five times in five minutes. Bro, literally, I'm like, all right, I'll see you. I start walking away. He starts talking to me again. Oh, my God. I literally, I'm like sitting there like, bro, for the love of God, stop talking to me. Stop saying A-O, chat. What do you mean A-O? Because I said clapped. What? Nah, that, that ain't a pause moment. That's literally because I used to think this was a clap up when it's not. Bro, I swear to God, I got to fucking tighten this thing. It's going to fucking skits me out. Oh. Phoenix for the sub. Uh, Scarcore for the three inch bits. Just got my Clash of Clans. I'm Town Hall 3. That is upsetting. You're Town Hall 3. In 2023, you are Town Hall 3 in Clash of Clans. If you haven't started Clash of Clans by now, never play the game. That's just my advice. You'll never, at that, it, if you didn't start Clash of Clans before 2016, there's no point in trying. There's no point in trying. You know what I mean? Like, at that point, at that point, you're never going to fucking progress. It's going to take 10 years to get to fucking Town Hall 13. Have fun with that. Arsenal from 300 bets. Had to go yesterday right before uh, you started playing the bomb defusal game with Zussi. Watch that. Watch the VOD back. It was fucking entertaining. It was amazing. DJ for the sub. Um, I'm going to head to the store to pick a few things up, but when I get back, I can't wait to meet your son. Okay, sounds good. I'll make lunch for Timmy after I'm done with the dishes and, um, the floor. Oh. Oof. Sounds like you've got the same crick in your neck as I do. Yeah. You know, one of these days, we are going to get somebody to watch Timmy and you and I are going to have a girl spa day. Oh, that sounds so great. Maybe you and my son, Sam. Can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for... Oh, Sam, hi. Oh my God, I thought that was going to be Timmy. Holy shit, I was going to say no damn way that bro's named Timmy. Oh my God. I thought that was going to be fucking Timmy. Jesus Christ. Oh. Mijo! Oh, come in, come in. No, okay, it's just... <laughs> so good to see you. Um, oh. this, this is your son? Oh, <laughs> yes, sorry. This is Miss Amber, my boss, who I'm always talking about. It's nice to finally meet you, Miss Amber. Sure, I've heard a lot of great things. Maria, can I talk to you? Oh, yeah, just close the door, close it. Sit. You didn't tell me your son has tattoos. You didn't tell me your son was inked up. You didn't tell me your son uses ink on his skin. Uh, sure. <sighs> you didn't tell me he had all those. Tattoos. Is he in some sort of a gang or something? Oh my goodness. Sam? No. Pre-watched. It's in the title, dickhead. I ain't why ain't pre-watched shit. It literally says rich woman shames man with tattoos. No fucking shit. It's common sense. That's what she's gonna fucking say. He's a pre-watched. I didn't pre-watch shit. Great kid. He's not into any of that kind of stuff. If you're worried. Joe my dono. Yo, two inch. Other yo, two inch. Two inch. You sent it literally 45 seconds ago. You got it's pertinent. Oh my god. Apparently it's time sensitive. This is a time sensitive dono by two inch. Yo, that blonde girl is a Melfon god. I would let her saw my nuts off with a chainsaw and slam my toe with a toothpick under my nail and slam it against a wall. I would saw off my tip and eat it for a high five. I just know it's bubble. 
He said, I just know it's Bubblegum Pink, the Grip Reaper. <sighs> every day, every day, Two Inch has something to, some, a weirder message to say, bro. Xenon for the thousand biddies. Did that ghost follow you home? I don't know. I hope not. Wad Z for the three bets. Are there specific days you play Fortnite? Usually on Thursdays. How do you get VIP? Thursdays or Saturdays? It really depends. How do you get VIP? Active chat or gotta know you. My chat has to like you. My mods have to like you. Bunch of shit like that. Ducky for the three inch bets. Found out that I have free will recently. So I just walk off when I get bored of the conversation. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the other day. <laughs> no goodbye either. No fucking goodbye. You just leave. You're just mid-conversation. You just get up and walk away. You don't even fucking say, yeah, man, I'm kind of bored of this. You just dip. Bro, that, I, that'd be fucking hilarious. They would be so confused. Like something bad happened. You just got bored. Big Daddy for the sub Scar Core for the Fringe Bets. What if I gen my way to Town Hall 14? If you're going to gen your way in Clash of Clans from Town Hall 3 to Town Hall 14, have fun spending $40,000. Have fun spending the, the price of a car to get to your fucking new Town Hall, buddy. Eris for the sub. Yeah, have, sp have fun spending your life savings getting to Town Hall 14. At that point, just buy a Town Hall 14 account. He can just stay here a month. A month? No. No, I do not feel comfortable with him staying that long. Especially after seeing him. Okay. Um, can he stay just a week? If he hasn't found a job by then, I'll just, I'll get him a hotel room. <sighs> Fine, but no more than that. So the pirate. Yo, you think there's people that are actually that pressed about tattoos? I feel like they're so commonplace now. Like 50 years ago, if you had a tattoo, like people would freak out. But now, now I feel like it's like one in three people have a tattoo or multiple. Like it's not even, it's not even out of place for somebody to have a tat. Eris for the sub and cool for the three inch bets. Says hi, Jerome. For sure, but like, you got the lion. It's mine. Yeah, I know. Who chose that one, Jerome. Oh, you see the Timmy. House, then? Timmy, come over here. What should I tell you about talking to strangers? He's not a stranger. His name is Sam, and he's really cool. See now, that's a Timmy. See now, that's a Timmy, right? That's Timmy. That's Timmy. That's what. That's a Sam, right? That's Sam. Timmy. Stranger? <laughs> His name is Sam and he's really cool. Timmy Look, Turner, you know, bro. He actually looks like him, too. Ma'am, I can... Together and Colin for the sub. Find another place to stay if, if it's a hassle. No! Don't be silly. Sam, Amber has been nice enough to let you stay for a week. Max. That'll be more than enough, Miss Amber. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who right. got the tucked-in flannel? <laughs> Oh my God, Grandpa Fit, Grandpa Fit, Jesus Christ! Oh my God, I just peeped that. Bro, got the tucked-in flannel. Oh God, with the blue jeans. Oh my God. Right. Well, I've got to get going. Yo, he really, he really dripped out. He really about to go to the square dancing concert. I told you, okay. Oh, no. Somebody redeemed flex really hard. Hold up. <clears throat> I didn't go to the gym yesterday. I skipped. I skipped. I got lazy. I didn't go. I know. I completely forgot. I have a doctor's appointment. I was so excited that Sam was coming that it completely slipped my mind. I can't watch Timmy. Maybe Sam could. Yeah. I don't mind. Uh, no, I, I don't feel comfortable with that.
that's where I get up and leave the house, right? I don't care if I have nowhere to stay. The second they ask, the, the second they ask me to watch their kid, yeah, bye, <laughs> bye. I'll sleep in my car. I'm not watching your damn kid. Get the fuck out of here. You think, I, oh, I gotta watch? I gotta babysit your kid to fucking sleep at your house? Yeah, no. I, you know that you could say. I mean, it's a fair trade. I just don't want. I, I just wouldn't want to watch somebody's kid. I'm just leaving. I'm just sleeping in my car. I'm just gonna leave the gas on. Or leave the car on. Jack for the sub. Okay. Well. Maybe you can take Timmy while Sam settles in. And leave him here alone? I don't think so. Oh my I god, what do you think? He's gonna start stealing shit? Sam with me, but they're only allowing patients. Early daddy's sad? Why is Gideon sad? What happened? And how do you know? Curly Daddy is hella sad. Why? And, and I really... Silence for the sub. ...have to go. Remember, I'm sorry. Maybe you can take them both. What choice do I have? Come on, honey. Yo, look at this, bro. Fucking so happy. So happy all the time, bro. I remember those days. I remember those days where you didn't care about anything. And life was just fucking amazing. All the time. And the worst thing you had to do was your fucking homework. Please, can't go back. No, I've been telling you for the past hour we don't have time. Let's go. And let's go now. Please. No. Hey, what you got there, Timmy? What's this? It's a Pokeball. Pokeball, cool. You know, my favorite toy growing up was Nintendo 64. Is the reason you're moving out because you just graduated high school? He looks 35. You, ju ju he just graduated high school. Bro. This is a grown man. This is not this is not somebody that just fucking graduated fucking high school walking out to one of those fucking happy ass songs. We're all in this together. No. This ain't no damn fucking high school graduation. No, ma'am. I actually didn't finish high school. I had to drop out junior year because You I did. Is the reason that you're Is is that why you have so many tattoos? Not able to hold a job because of all the... No, not at all, actually. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can get a job easily with tattoos now. Like, having tattoos is not an issue anymore. Like, unless you literally have, like, a dick just, like, drawn on your forearm, right? Like, if you have, like, art, that's different, right? Like, like if you have, like, an, art, like an artsy tattoo or something that's meaningful, they're not going to be mad about it. If you have, like, a, like a, just a genuine penis just fucking on your forearm, that's a different story, right? But who the fuck has that? Ducky for the 300 bits. Timmy looks like a rip-off young Sheldon. <laughs> Together for the 1,000 bits. I'm really happy this first stream I've been able to see live. Dub, Bob for the sub, and thank you for the 1,000 bits together. Uh, and Cywolf for the 300 bitties. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. And Wadzi for the sub. Look... I know people may assume a lot about me because of all of the tattoos, and that's fine. But Mrs. Amber, I always try to tell people you really shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Foreshadowing. Maybe, but you can tell a lot about a book from its cover. Yeah, and you look like a spoiled mom that doesn't do anything other than complain and rant about other people. Maybe worry about your own damn life, dumbass. I hear you're not getting along with your father either. Is it, uh, is it something that you did or? It's all right with you. I'd rather not talk about that. Well, you are staying at my house, so. Why yeah, why your hair looks so damn greasy? When was the last time you showered? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Now back the fuck up. Now back the fuck up. You want to discuss it. 
so it's something that you're trying to hide. Hey, Mom, can you please buy this for me? Please, please. No, you have enough toys at home. You do not need another one. Go put it back. And your damn kid wants a Pokemon. Maybe, maybe get him to play a real man's game like Magic the Gathering. The fuck is this? Bro's too obsessed with a Pokemon. Maybe to get, maybe get him up some mana. Maybe get him into the real card game. Some Dungeons and Dragons type shit. Okay? Oh, there we go. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Timmy looks like he'd pay my taxes. He li- <laughs> Timmy deadass- to me, Deadass looks like he'd pay my t or sell me a tractor. He looks like he'd sell me a tractor. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. May I check your receipt, please? Oh, Thank is you. he stealing? You're all fine. Okay. Have a good one. Hey. Yo, you got a thing in your pockets, my man? No, I don't. You sure? Do you want me to show you? Please. Okay, look. This is my phone. I don't have anything, all right? I don't... Unbelievable. I told my son I That wouldn't even beep. That wouldn't even beep. Dude, they put they put the scanners on like expensive shit. That is a three dollar Pokeball, bro. That from Target. Timmy did it. Timmy, that little weasel. That little fucking weasel Timmy. I did not want him to have that. And then you go and steal it for him? No. Man, look, I promise. I have no idea how this got in my sweater. Right, so the toy... He also didn't walk out of the store. He He's not in trouble. He didn't steal. Just put it back. And then leave. Like, it's not... Like, this is a way bigger deal than it needs to be. Like, just put it back. Sorry. Here. I'll be on my way. <laughs> like, like, I'm not sitting there for questioning. Wadzi for the three Jibets. She looks like if Cindy Lou Who did math. Oh, God. Bob the Builder for the sub. That boy for the three Jibets. Let me propose a hypothetical. Your girlfriend asks you to go to a party by herself. And for some reason, you say no. A couple weeks later, she goes and lies saying she didn't. She later admits to going. How do you handle that situation? Well, I wouldn't be in that situation because Brooke wouldn't do that, right? But if I was like, hey, can you not go to this party? She's like, yeah, and then went to the party. I don't know. Like, are you saying is that like a breakup scenario? That is sketch as fuck. Like, if, if you have a girlfriend and you told her not to go to a party or some shit and she did and then lied, like, if she went and she was like, I'm going to go anyway. Like, that would just be an argument. But her saying she's not going to go and then going anyway, bro, that, that's kind of fucked. I don't really know what I would do. Big Mac for the thousand biddies. Finally caught a stream. How are you doing today? I hope it's going well. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the thousand biddies, Big Mac. Storm for the 300 bets. Any advice on, on trying to get into content creation and streaming? Uh, start out on TikTok. Get a base following. Transfer it over to either Twitch or YouTube. Uh, to a degree, you're only going to be able to transfer like maybe 0.5% of your followers. That's still enough to get like 20 viewers, 30 viewers, then build naturally. That's what, that, that's what I did. Just grew legs and jumped into your hoodie. Is that it? No, man, that's not what happened. I, I know that I'm with him, but I just met him. So if you need to call the police. I'm saying she told me to steal it. If she's going to be like that, I'm literally going to make a whole ass story up about how she told me to seal it. She's the one that put me up to this. She's been brainwashing me this entire time. She tried. She told me that if I didn't steal the Pokeball, she wouldn't let me sleep at her house and I would be homeless. And that I needed to steal the Pokeball. And that, like, I'm just, all, all, I'm, all I'm trying to do is just have a place to stay. And she made me steal this Pokeball. Yeah, fuck you. Love it for the 300 bits. I made an edit for you. Please look at it. Uh, Zen Daddy for the sub. Only time I'm doing this today. Only time I'm doing this today. Because I'm, I'm, I'm in an okay mood right now. Because my mic stand isn't broken. Watch it break right now. That would be terrible vibes.
It's just me twerking. That's it. It's just it's just me twerking. Zen daddy for the sub. All right. There's no need for all that, man. Plus, the cops won't even show up due to the low dollar amount. But I will have to let you know that you're not allowed in this store anymore. Yo, that's crazy how there's a million targets. Yo, that's so crazy how there's a million targets and you're a fucking target security guard. Dude, I get, yo, I try not to be a dick. But, like, when somebody, when a, when a mall security guard presses me, I go off. I go off, right? Because, like, it's just... It's just like they're trying to abuse, dude. There was I already told you all this one story about when I was on an escalator and this security guard started telling me that I like I he was gonna kick me out or some shit. I'm like, dude, you're just trying to abuse your power here, man. Like, I'm sorry that you're a mall security guard and you're trying like you literally have to just sit there because nothing happens in a fucking mall where you need a mall security guard. So then when something happens, you just immediately try to kick somebody out. But like, I'm not really working with this shit, bro. Like I, I'm immediately an asshole back, and I hate, and it, oh, I always get karma right after my car broke down the second after I left. What do you mean homework? What do you mean homework? What do you mean homework? Yo, can you send me like, can you send me like a PDF? He redeemed to do your, ho to do his homework. Bro, I'll half-ass it. Yo, bro, nah. Yo, if it's a paper, it's over. We can do it after this vid. Oh, fine. I'll do, okay, we got to do manifest homework on stream after this vid chat. Okay, Cayenne for the sub. Dude, I'm spending no more than 10 minutes on it. You get 10 minutes of homework. Ducky for the 300 bits. She's holding me and my family hostage. I have to steal this $1 Pokemon toy. <laughs> Officials supplied and coop for the sub. And then two inch. It's physics? Oh, get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to be able to do it. Here's how I risk up the MILF. I look her up and down and stay you dropped a pen. When she looks down, I use my finger and lift her head up with my wrists. Step two. I say I got a massive PP that's 49 ink. It's very underwhelming and actually never helps. Step three. I say I can lift three chairs at once when the teacher needs help. Step four. I say let's go out to eat. After we eat, I get up and leave the restaurant, making her pay for her, di for her own dinner and mine. Wow. I'm going to need the toy back. I am going to tell Maria that I want you out. I do not want a thief living under my roof. I'm telling you, he didn't do it. He would never. No mother wants to believe that there's- Yo, if he was gonna steal something, why the fuck would he ever steal a $3 Pokemon toy, right? Like, if I'm gonna steal something from a store, I'm gonna be stealing something, you know, that has value, not for the kid, bro. At that point, I ha you would have three dollars, bro. Like, if you're gonna steal something, you're not stealing like you're not stealing a one dollar toy, right? You're just you, like you would pay for that. Like, you gotta be yoinking something that's like at least semi valuable. Son is capable of such a thing, but I saw it with steal my steal a washing machine. Yeah, yeah. Get a really big sweatshirt and put a forty nine inch flat screen under it and just walk out. Like nothing happened. Own eyes. I do not want my son exposed to that kind of behavior. Okay. Okay. Because it's so late, is it okay if he leaves in the morning? How do I know he's not going to steal anything it's while still he's right outside? Here. I probably shouldn't even be leaving him alone right now. Sam would never do that. And if there's anything missing, you can just adopt. Yo, if, if I'm like a stay-at-home maid and my boss is telling me that my son's a thief, I'm going to tell her to go fuck herself and quit. Like, I'm not putting up with that shit. I'll be a maid for someone else. Five inch for the sub. Ducked it for my pay, okay? One night. And then I never want him to set foot in this house again. Slow 
Slow down, sweetie. I don't want you to choke. Drink some juice. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go change out the laundry. I'll be right back. Yo, you eating with plastic forks? I thought you were rich. You're eating with plastic forks. <laughs> and fucking solo cups. Well, I'm gonna go change out the laundry. I'll be right back. So And you got the pot on the table just fucking sitting there. Me, you're in uh fourth grade? Yeah, how you like school? It's good. Please do not talk to my son. Yo, I yo, yo, I'm just gonna leave. I like like I this is not worth it. This is not worth it, bro. She's being such a dick. Oh, Timmy, you just spilled juice on yourself. Go ask Maria to get you a new shirt. Go change. New shirt? I'm not changing my fucking shirt for that. Y'all changing your shirt for that? Bro, you spilled a little bit of apple juice on your fucking shirt? Just wipe that shit off. You're inside too. And it's nighttime. You're getting a whole new shirt for about two hours. Look, Miss Amber, I'm really sorry about what happened earlier, but I promise you, I have no idea how that toy got in my hoodie. I've never stolen anything before and I would never do that in my life. I'm not so sure. If I wasn't there, who knows what else you would have stolen. I'm breaking her plates. I'm breaking her plates. I'm fucking punching a hole in their flat screen. I'm fucking walking out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's calling me a thief, bro. I'm about to kick the shit out of her TV and leave. Yeah, nah, it's over. It's it's so over for that. Bro, like, he's really putting up with this shit, too. Why? My watch! What about it? Is everything okay? Like you don't know. Oh! Uh Oh my god, here we fucking go. No what? Ma'am, if it's missing, I can help you look for it. Would you cut the crap and just hand it over? Bitch, I would literally, I would be like, pat me the fuck down. I'm in TSA right now, pat me the fuck down. I ain't got nothing on me. She probably, she probably planted it on him. I've never even seen your watch before. I don't know where it is. Don't play dumb. First you steal that toy from the store, and now you're stealing my jewelry? No wonder you can't get a job. You probably have a criminal record. You're nothing more than a conniving thief. Fine. Clearly, I'm not welcome here. I'm just gonna pack my bags and I'm gonna go. Yeah, and I'm yeah. taking her watch. Oh, I'm taking her watch. Oh, yeah, clearly I'm not wanted here. Snatch. Snatch that $10,000 Rolex. Snatch that $10,000 Rolex. Clearly I'm not wanted here. I'm going to have that shit on my wrist. I'm going to walk the fuck out. Yeah, now at that point, you're going to call me a thief. I'm going to steal your damn watch. Like, bro, come on. And then bring your bag over here so I can get my watch out of it. Such a shame. What did your dad kicked you out? Hey, he did not kick me out. Miss Amber, you asked me earlier what really happened. Miss Amber? I ain't calling her Miss Amber. I'm telling her she's a fucking dick. Between me and my father, but you never gave me a chance to tell you. So I might as well now. You see, as long as I can remember, my dad has been a very bad alcoholic. He would always come home. He looks the same age as his dad. What the fuck? Late and stumbling. Uh, this is a flashback. And drunk. And if my mom dared say anything. So you see. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even peep that. My chat did. Hold up. Now I got to rewind. Me and my father, but you never gave me a chance to tell you. So I might as well now. You see. You see? Wanted me to come with her. So you see. I <laughs> Kara Anonymous for the sub. Uh, Boo for the sub. Ducky for the strange bets. How do you get out of this situation? Just say, it's because I'm Hispanic, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me straight. Bro, nah, that would make it way worse. Fatty for the strange bets. What shoes do you use? 
I mean, I wear different types of shoes. I normally wear Nike. Fatty for the 300 bets. This lady has calcium cannons. Stop. Bliss for the 550 bets. Xenon for the 600 bets. Why does she look like bird feed a mama bird gives to her baby birds? What? Corbis for the sub and Levitt, 300 bets. Thanks for checking my edit. I'm freaking out. W. Jab. No problem. But we knew she couldn't because she didn't have a job at the time. So I helped her leave. And I promised her that everything would be okay. And of course, once my dad figured out that she was gone, you can only imagine that he did not like that. I've got the champion underwear on. So he started to take his abuse out on me. So he started to take his abuse out on me. That is not a belt whip. That is a full on gash in your arm. Dog, that is literally a cut. That is not a fucking belt whip. And I would always do my best to hide the scars and my bruises. And if my mom ever called, I would lie to her. Tell her everything was okay just because I didn't want her to worry. So, you see... So, so you see, I, bro, come on. Every fucking, yeah, every video too. So you see. I didn't leave because my dad kicked me out. I left because I didn't want to take the abuse anymore. And I got the tattoos, not because I want to be a part of some gang, but because I wanted to hide the hideous scars all over my body. I am so sorry, honey. Oh, here we I go. I had no idea he was treating you that badly. I would have never left you there if I had known. Bro, this is like 25 years later. Like, this man is like 30. Like, this, this is like a long time later, right? I don't want you worrying about me, Mom. I was just like, she really never knew? He never told her? Where did she come from? I don't know. I'm assuming they just did. They never communicate. I'm assuming that's how they're planning this out. Like, she never fucking looked at his arms. Even if you have tattoos, it wouldn't cover a scar. You'd still be able to see that fucking big-ass gash he had on his arm. Glad that you found a safe place. A place that made you happy. And honestly, I always knew that I'd eventually move out and be close to you again. I never intended on bringing any trouble here. I'm... Bro, she got that simply fruit punch. What? What? Sorry that happened to both of you. But that doesn't change the fact that you stole my watch. <laughs> I ain't steal shit. I'm punching her in the nose. That's where it's over. If I hit her with the... If I hit her with the so you see... If I hit her with the so you see... And I take her on a journey into my past... And then I hit you with I hit her with the the ending, so you see, and she still tells me I stole I, I stole her fucking watch. It's right into the nose, bruh. Bro, punch right in the nose, bruh. It's over. Long tripod for the five fucking gifteds. Long tripod 9458. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank them if you got a sub, and thank you for the fucking five gifties. Long tripod and YDG for the sub. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's gone. He didn't steal it. I was having it cleaned for you. Yeah, and that's where I make a duplicate of it, and I give her that boo fast, that boo fast version, and I fucking steal the real one. That's exactly what I do. I go to get it cleaned, and I get an exact replica of that dumbass watch, and then I steal the real one. Cause she ain't gonna fucking know. Oh my gosh. I... Who cleans a watch? Everyone. You're supposed to clean any gold jewelry. Any gold or silver. Two inch for the three inch bitties.
So you see Joe, here's how fight 5 100s goes you hit me with a jab leaving me stunned and then you grab my arm and ground slam me and go for a punch. I block the punch and kick you in the bowels and then hit you with three haymakers back to back. Three consecutive haymakers. You really think you're going to hit me with three consecutive haymakers? And I'm not going to dodge any of those. Those are full force punches. Then an uppercut. Then an uppercut. Three haymakers and an uppercut. Four, four moves back to back that are risky as shit. And you're not going to miss any of them. Then I grab your arm and ground pound you. What is this, WWE, bro? Jesus. Ricky and Javi for the sun. I just assumed after you stole the toy from the toy store that you that you the hundredth time, ma'am. I did not take the toy. Actually, mom, I put it in his pocket when Sam wasn't paying. Someone deleted my chat because it was a black thumbs up. What mod just did that? They didn't delete your chat. It's right there. It's right there. If they deleted it, I don't think it. I don't know if it would show up on your on your record. They didn't delete it. Yeah. I mean, if they did, it was probably accidental. Uh, but, I mean, it shows up on your chat record, so I would assume they didn't delete it. Uh, hold up. Take away from the toy I store. That I was paying they... attention to the fucking uh, thing. Wazzy for the fringe bits. I've been getting bullied at school. I don't think you can help, but... Oh. Bro, you have to... Bro, he said, don't say it out loud. The people who bully me watch your stream. Bro, like, you have to put that in the pretense. Because I'm just going to start reading it. I mean, dude, if people deadass bully you and they watch my stream, give me their users and I'll just fucking ban them from my chat. <laughs> like, like, if they're going to be that much of a dick. Uh, fatty for the three events. Timmy looks like he smells of cheese curds. Maybe. For the hundredth time, ma'am, I did not take the toy. Actually, mom, I put it in his pocket when Sam wasn't paying attention. Uh, actually, mom, I... Actually, mom, I put it in his pocket. Bro, and he's cheesing that whole damn time, too. Bro, smiling about that. Yeah, your little weasel son's the fucking thief. Yeah, your little weasel son's the fucking thief. Not me. Not me. I'm sorry, I just really wanted it. You took that toy? Honestly, I kind of figured that's what happened. I just, I didn't want to blame Timmy. Bro's moping. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I am so sorry. It's just that when I saw you and saw all the tattoos and heard that you dropped out of school and then you couldn't get a job, I just assumed you had a criminal record, so it, it made sense. No, ma'am. You have it all wrong. The only reason I dropped out... Bro, he ain't even paying attention. Bro, we ain't, we ain't moving past the fact that Timmy deadass stole. Just, Bro's just, just eating again. Bro's just sitting at the table fucking chowing. I assumed you had a criminal record, so it, it made sense. No, ma'am. You have it all wrong. The only reason I dropped out and don't have a job yet, that's just because... Timmy, I told you to slow down! Yo, Timmy? good shit, Tim. Oh, Timmy. Are you okay? Timmy? Honey, can you breathe? Her here, excuse me. Let me out. Let me out. Here, come what here, Timmy. What are you doing? Stand up for me. Okay. Oh, I forgot how to do Heimlich. If only I had a watch that would, you know... If only I had a watch that would you know, maybe give me my memory back on how to save people from choking. If only somebody miraculously gifted me a watch that would bring back my memory on how to save someone from dying when they're choking to death. Okay, ready? Oh, oh, so you Are you okay? How did you know what to do? When I was trying it's not to that fucking complicated. It's like you literally just fucking squeeze their stomach rapidly and try to get them to exhale. It's not that hard. Tell you, Miss Amber. 
is that the reason I dropped out of high school is just because I wanted to join the nursing program. That makes no fucking sense. That makes no fucking sense. You literally have to go to college to go to nursing, don't you? So that I could start my career right away and make some money. That makes no fucking sense. Does that make any sense, chat? Um, you literally have to get an associate's degree for nursing. Like, I, you have to grab, you would have to at least get your GED. Yeah, you need to go to college? Yeah, what the fuck is this bro talking about? Money. And I'm honestly the youngest person to graduate in my class, too. How the fuck did you go to college? Did you get your GED? And I Not necessarily. You need a GED to go to college. I'm almost sure of it. What college would accept you without a high school diploma? At that point, anybody could go to college. I had tons of job offers at home, but I didn't take any of them because I wanted to get away from my dad. Be closer to my mom. A GED takes three weeks. I know, but he didn't say he got it. But I did not know that I would cause this much stress. I'm just going to go. It's bad. Yeah. Hey, so cool. Wait. I'm so sorry for how I treated you. You were right. I never should have judged a book by its cover. Oh, the foreshadowing. It's all right, ma'am. As long as you give me your, your Rolex. <clears throat> as long as you give me your Rolex, you know, it's fine. You know what would really make... You know what would really put a smile on my face and make me look, make me a bit happier here if you handed me your watch? If, if I had your watch? It's honestly okay. You know, I just see it on my hand already. Just like a little shiny... A shiny gold and silver watch that I could check the time on. Hey, kind of used to it by now. Please, don't... Please, don't go. I would love for you to stay. I think you would be a great role model for Timmy. That is, if you'd even want to stay. Please, Sam. Please. All right. Yeah, I'll Don't stay. Don't talk to my son. Yes. <laughs> Do you know how to play Fortnite? Yeah, not with you, though, because you probably ain't getting no fucking wins. Yeah, not with you, though. All right. Yeah, I'll stay. Yes! Do you know how to play Fortnite? Yeah, you ain't getting any fucking victory royales, though. I'll play on your account. We ain't playing together. Come on, do I? I'm one of the best. It's almost been an hour. The only thing we've done is watch a 16-minute a video. Bro, that's every, that's every single stream of mine. But you should finish your homework before we play. I already did. Let's go play in my room. Sounds good. Huh? Go ahead. All right, let's go. I call Tomato Head. No, and he's got to go into the gamer dungeon. So here's my piss drawer. When I don't want to get up to go to the bathroom, I just, you know, I just open it and I pee in it at night. You know, you close it. I collect it. And then, and then over here is my belly button lit collection. As you can see, the 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 door says "No girls allowed." <laughs> Over here, I also have a poop bucket for dire situations. It's almost full. I haven't I haven't emptied it in a while. I'm so sorry. I actually drilled a hole in my in my chair, so if I actually need to use the bathroom, I don't need to get up from my I don't need to get up from my gamer station to use it. Sometimes it does get a le a bit leaky, I will say. That's why that's why this corner of the room is kind of damp and smells a little rancid. Have you seen that TikTok of what? Dude, a piss drawer is a real thing. There's like there's like actual kids that have piss drawers. Who had a piss drawer here when they were younger? Say I. Ban them. Ban them. Ban them. Get them out. Get them out of my chat. Get them out of my chat. They just said it. They just they just said they had a piss drawer. Long for the sub. Fatty for the 300 bits. Would you ever play any other scary story games soon? Yeah, probably. I need people to recommend me them, though. If you have any scary story games, uh, exclamation point Discord, you can join the Discord and send videos for me to react to and video games for me to play 
in the video suggestion tab and the video game suggestion tab. Uh, long for the sub, J-Man for the fringe bits. My belly Jimmy is cracked at Fortnite. <gasps> Egyptian for the sub, long tripod for the thousand biddies. Have you reacted to the KSI fight yet? Yo, could I watch a clip of that on stream yet, chat? She refuses to give the watch, so I haggle. How about those two gold rings? <laughs> Mochi for the sub and uh, Kratos for the sub. Do you consider your early days on Twitch as a rookie and now you're a professional raw dogger? I I would not say I I would say yeah I was a rookie now I would say, I wouldn't say I'm a professional Twitch streamer I would say I'm a I'm a semi pro Twitch streamer <laughs> I'm semi pro I'm not at the pro level yet oh I got to do the homework fuck carrot for the three uh, four hundred bets hyper for the five hundred bets uh and Jordan for the fucking uh Bettys bolt for the sub all right send me your homework. All right, chat. We got to do this real quick. We're going to crank through this fast as light. Yeah, this is easy as shit, though. No fucking problem. A blank or a blank is a blank. What? Unit blank. Measured by a blank. A body at motion remains at... Wait. A body at rest remains at rest or if in motion remains in... In something at blank unless acted upon... Yo, this is where I cheat. This is where I cheat. Yo, you really redeemed me to do this? Every object, every body at motion, or everybody will remain at rest. Bro, this is not how it's it's formed. I'll redeem dog treat if you cheat. Okay, fuck you. Okay, help me out, chat. Do I actually have to edit this and send it back, or can I just give you the answers? This is not hard. I don't know what this is, though. A blank or a blank? What the fuck does that eat? What is it trying to get me to do? A blank or a blank? Just answer it on stream. What is that? What is it asking me? What is it? Unit is Newtons. No shit. Unit Newtons and Newtons measured by a what? Scale? What the fuck am I supposed to say? A body at rest remains at rest or if in motion remains in motion at a at a constant rate unless acted on by an external source. Bro, that's literally, that's just easy. Newton's first law. Joe can't do high school homework. Yo, for the love of God, try and write one of my philosophy papers. For all you little weasels saying I'm stupid, for all you little fucking gremlins saying that I'm stupid right now, try and do my fucking philosophy homework, okay, buddy? Try, try and sit there, sit down and write a 10-page paper on... On Nietzsche's uh, concept of, of morality in life. Yeah, 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 you can't, though. Zombie for the sub, zero for the sub, dairy for the sub. Acceleration of a system. Oh, I have to do this. Inertia, property of objects to remain in constant motion or rest. Blank is a measure of inertia. D dude, I don't know what the measure of inertia is. What is the measure of inertia? Yo, chat, what's the, what's the measure of inertia? I'm going to move on while you guys answer that. Acceleration of a system is directly proportional to and in the same blank of as the net. Yo, your teacher's a fucking idiot. Yo, I'm not trying to diss your teacher, bro. This ain't even the fucking Newton second law, bro. It, dude, they fucking reworded it so goddamn weird. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Why did they reword it all weird? It's the same net force and inversely proportional to the, what, force? What the fuck am I saying? The mass? Bro, like, why did they word it like this? It's not a gaming day. No cursing doesn't apply, chat. Only gaming days you can do no cursing. Whenever one body exerts a force on a second body, the first body experiences a force that is equal in... Oh. Bro, 
An equal of both equal and opposite force. Bro, like they worded this weird. I dead ass Googled this. Oh, this isn't even your homework? What the fuck is this? Why did you hand me this? Bro, it's not equal in size. It's equal in like four. Like if you bounce a ball, an equal force is going to be going backwards up, right? It's going to go lower, but that's because of gravity. Every force is an equal and opposite reaction force. Yeah, that, it's just saying the same damn thing. It's just repeating itself. Magnitude, and it, that is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Oh my God, there we fucking go. Good chat, W chat. A football player named Al is blocking a player on the other team named Bob. Al applies a 1,500 newt force uh, or net force on Bob. If Bob's mass is 100 kgs, what is his acceleration? Acceleration is, what is acceleration? It's the net force over mass, right? So it's 1,500 divided by 100. What is his acceleration? 15. 15 what? 15 meters per second squared. No, not squared. It'd be 15 meters per second, right? What is the size of the force on Al? Fucking hell, dude. Mass times acceleration would be 100 that... What is the net force? What is the what is the size of the force on Al? 1,500 newtons. That's It's just in the answer. If Al's mass is 75 kgs, what is his acceleration? Jesus Christ. This is so... This is like basic physics. This is like basic physics. 1,500... I'm literally pulling out a calculator. That's not cheating. 20. A point oh. Four six kg golf ball hit by a driver can accelerate from rest to 67 meters per second and one meters per second. Oh, brother. While the driver is in contact with the ball. How much average force does the golf ball experience? Dick. 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 No, I don't care. I don't care. IDC. I graduated high school. I finished physics. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. This is not aiding me in any way. I am literally a Twitch streamer. That was the answer. Congrats. Yeah, dick. That is the answer. Dick squared. Zombie and L0 for the fucking sub. Barry for the 700 bits. Uh, recently got Twitch to watch your streams. Glad I could uh, watch my first react. Big dub. Tidy for the 300 bits. It's the law of inertia. I did this shit in eighth grade. Yeah, no, that's different from physics. This is like first week of physics. Like when I took physics, this was literally what we did in the first week. Then you move on from this. Like, this is just basic, like, the, the fucking MA equals net force, that shit. Or, like, gravity. Like, you learn about, like, base shit. Yo, am I done with that? I'm moving on. Did this shit in the womb? Literally. Too easy. Too easy. 2-1, Newton's Laws. Too easy. Joe Bart. Joe Bart dub. What do I get on that, chat? What, what grade are y'all giving me? Doug for the sub. What grade are y'all giving me? A C? Bro, come on. Like, I at least got a B minus there. I at least got... Oh, God. Forgot about this video. Explaining which Pokemon is the hottest. Uh, again, today is Pokemon Waifus 101. We start with an ethical question, and that is uh, a matter of hard science versus... Oh, he did this on stream. The social science. When we are analyzing the question... What Pokemon are the most attractive? We have to consider the ethical question, which is, can these are the oral types. Here we have a, a Weeping Bell, and here we have a Lickitung. Again, I say low tier, low hanging fruit in that, in terms of Poke Waifu material, these are commonly picked purely for their physical ability for their ability to perform that Hobby Lobby Sloppy Toppy. <laughs> the <we> think <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Professor Lando posted this a year ago. Bell, the bro, like tongues. Like these That's are fucking hilarious. the fleshlights of Pokemon. What is love? Physical, mental. It can't just all be physical. There has to be a connection. How are you gonna spend the rest of your life with a weeping bell? You won't, be, you won't even be able to talk to it because its mouth is gonna be so full. So again, very odd. Goblin for the 500 bits. Low Punny or Gardevoir? 
obvious. I think we- he'll get into that. Because he's going to, it looks like he's moving through certain types. Yeah, Ditto's a cop out. Yo, I fucking hate that shit. Have y'all ever had this hypothetical question with your friends? If you had a date a Pokemon, which one would it be? When people say Ditto, that is the cringiest answer ever. Because it can literally be anything. Physical. Now, there's, we're going to go into a little more abstract area now. What do we have here? Mewtwo. A Flygon. Who the fuck is going to date a Flygon? Flygon. These are the plump types. It's the thickness here that, that really makes you question the intent of the original designers. You really got to question that. And, and the key thing here is the rotundness. Yes, obviously the thighs. Clearly. I mean, clearly. The thighs are the first. <laughs> Bro, it looks like an ass cheek on the front. First thing that draws your attention. But might I bring your attention class to what I call the pokey taint. This plump, tainty area usually extends into the tail. And there's just something about it. That does something for me. It's not just the thighs. It's, it's like it looks so soft and, <laughs> and bulbous. And it... Oh my god, dude. He's put thought into this. He's put like not even just like a little hypothetical with your friends. This is like he's sat down and like genuinely thought, okay, well, what categories would I date? How would they, what are the benefits and downsides of each of them? Fatty for 300 bets. I would date the one with a big dumpy, but that's like half of the Pokemon. It's the pear Actually, shape, the right? It comes out and it's rotund at the end. It, it's like the belly and it turns into the tail. You know, there's something about like, you know, not like it's, it is thick. Yes. But there's, there's just the, it's the fact that it's like. It, Who the fuck is picking Machamp? Bro, he has, he's a rock. He's a rock with four arms, isn't he? The Pokey Dilfs. Machamp, Incineroar. Well, one of, some of the more popular types. He's and a very is, handy Pokemon. Bro, still. Here's why. Many of the Pokey Dilfs have this fighter aesthetic. This, this, it's not a coincidence. It is not a coincidence. Nature just doesn't deal in coincidences, my friends. We have two wrestler-themed Pokemon that are both Pokedils. Coincidence? Mm -mm. Why? Full Nelson. Do I need to say more? No. Pokedils. We're, we're going to move- What does he mean, full Nelson? Do I need to say more full Nelson? What does that even fucking mean? On to some specific points. With all disciplines, there are general guidelines. Oh my god, he's saying that, that the Pokemon would put you in a full Nelson. Oh! That, uh, that the academic community uh, at large follows. But there are always exceptions. Or rather, maybe not exceptions, but there's always uh, special cases. So we'll be going over some specific examples of, of, of common discussions that come up when you're discussing which Pokemon is the most attractive. Ditto. Now, Bro, I don't- it's, it's cheap. If you, uh, do you guys know Pokemon? I'm assuming most of you know Pokemon. I, if you don't, Ditto is a Pokemon that can morph into any other Pokemon. Ever. Like anything. It can literally be anything. It can, mor if it sees you, it can morph into you, right? I think that's cheap. Because then, then everybody's obviously just going to say Ditto. Because then Ditto's the coolest because it can literally just be anything. It could be a human. It could be a Pokemon. It could be a fucking bug. It could be a tree. It could be like anything. Rhino for the sub. I don't think we can have a discussion about which Pokemon is the most attractive. Which Pokemon is the most breedable without the breed king himself. Ditto. Or breed queen. In theory. On paper. It sounds like the ultimate waifu. The ultimate pokey waifu. Why? If you're unable or if you're unfamiliar with a ditto, a ditto has the ability to transform its physical form into practically anything. You know, one day you're feeling some low punny, ditto can do that. Next day you, you, you want to be with a Gardevoir, ditto can do that. The next day you're not even feeling Pokemon, you want Marissa Tomei, actress who plays Aunt May and Tom Holland Spider-Man, ditto can also do that.
and much more. And this this is where the trap lies. It what almost... a random person that he just chose. He just chose Aunt May in the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Seems too good to be true. And it is, I talked about love and sentience earlier. Uh, when we look at the ditto, what do we- Because she's bad, bro. Joe, you already know I'm deaf fucking the shit out of ditto. It can literally morph into anything. God bro, the he at D would be insane so sloppy goddamn bro. Shed is deaf double gum pink god that would go so hard I need D to- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ye for the fucking sub, and Ducky for the 300 biddies. I guess I'm cheap then, Joe, cry me a river, whilst you're stuck with your Machamp, I can jump between whoever I want. Dude, I'm not picking Machamp. You see, what do we see right here? Cold, dead eyes. We see the emotional range of a dead fish. <laughs> There's hardly a soul there. Yeah, it's not going to be able to talk to you. It's just, it's, it's, well, I mean, can any of them talk? Can any Pokemon talk? Four, like, five. speak English? Other than just say their own name? Choji for the 700 bitties. That's why I'm saying with, I'm, uh, that's why I'm picking Ditto. Bro. But, like, he, they're not going to talk to you. Like, literally just emotionless. Mewtwo can speak. Fleshlight. Love making requires a connection. Not just a pump and dump. That's what Ditto is. Let's be honest. And let's say you go through with it. It was great. You had Ditto transform into whatever, whatever you're feeling that day, that particular chef's choice. You know, after you're done with the deed, you want to roll over and you want to be able to, oh, to talk to it. And then it's going to roll over and go back to being a Ditto. And then it's going to be like a blob, like a rag. Oh, God, stop. Turn and look over into the loving eyes of your partner of your pokey waifu, laugh, live, love. But with the ditto, you're done with the deed. What is this video? My chat sent it to me. If you're sitting here saying, Joe, why the fuck are you watching this? You guys literally sent it to me in the video suggestion tab. You rolled over. All you're looking at is just a gloppy pink and white soulless face that stares blankly You chose at it? You. Yeah, because it looked filling entertaining. You with shame. You're feeling, you're feeling a little like Shinji after he visits Asuka in the hospital. Uh, for me, Ditto is not the ultimate pokey waifu. It, it's a bait and switch. Like a monkey's paw sort of deal. If we're, we're doing the see that's a... And with, I want him to get so, off straight off the bat, I want to say low punny is another bait. It's another bait and switch. Unfortunately, this is a very controversial topic, but here at Ligma University, we deal with the hard truths. Low punny has one of the highest marks. Does in this count as bestiality? Because they're Pokemon, right? Like, they're not human. Like, this conversation is basically, like, borderline that. In terms of physical attractiveness. It's more furry-esque. It's, it's more furry than, like, that. Because they're really not animals. They don't exist. I mean, clearly. Sheesh. You see Pokemon- If it can't speak, then it's not awkward. Bro. Pokemon trainers out at the Poke Park, and they're, they're walking their low pony. And they're like, yeah, I, I like that low punny has high base stats. It's like, who are you kidding? I know exactly what you're doing with that low punny, you sick fuck. We talk about the subject of love. And low punny is viewed as one of the most attractive Pokemon. But the problem is she knows it. She knows it. Look at that smug face. How can I maintain a You long drew her. Let me look up at a genuine picture of low punny. Bro, like, it's lifeless. Like, it's lifeless. <laughs> Yo, y'all are so whack. Y'all are so whack. That, the e-girl of Pokemon. Low oh, God, God and she damn, knows God. It. Makes her Stop. smug. Makes her a little too smug for my, for my liking. She's sending Snapchats to Professor Oak. While pretending to Bro, I don't want to watch this anymore. I don't want to watch this. What the fuck is Mimikyu? What the fuck is Mimikyu? Over Pokey Waifu, in my opinion. We talked about how Ditto and Lopunny are actually not as good as you think. I'm about to tell you why Mimikyu is a very underrated Pokey Waifu. There's nothing hotter than a girl with low self-esteem. Mimikyu?
Bro, like, he's gotta, he's gotta fucking chill out. You is gonna work extra hard for your love. She's gonna work it because she's always worried about your ex, Pikachu. We have Gardevoir. This is gonna be an un unexpected explanation, analysis of Gardevoir as a Pokey waifu. Gardevoir is, we talked about Pokey Dilfs earlier. Gardevoir is one of the Pokey MILFs. She has the MILF haircut. It's the, the sensuality of the Pokey MILF uh, that I wanna talk about. You know, we, we, the, the physical allure of Mrs. Let Amber. him cook? Bro, I'm not letting him cook on this one. I'm not letting him cook on this one. Wugway for the sub. Uh, you're Canadian for the three inch bets. I'm the wrestler again. I had a tournament. My team didn't did well. Um, and the bad ref. Uh, don't know if you remember him was there, which was funny because. Wait, which was funny? He was the one that called some random bullshit. Well, I'm. It's good that y'all did well this time. But the mature veneer of a respectable woman. She respects herself. It's a give and take when it, you come with the pokey mill. They Hard don't walk. even talk. How do you know that they respect themselves? They literally, bro, it literally just sits there and says, Gardevoir, Gardevoir, Gardevoir. It can only say one word. Most Pokemon can say one word, and that's it. Um, she eggs me on to, to work harder on myself and on our relationship. But uh, so, so what's the problem, you might ask? Yes, Gardevoir is, is hot. She's sensual. She's got a MILF haircut. In fact, she's kind of got a MILFy vibe about her. Pokemon are Pokemon. And Gardevoir is a psychic Pokemon, a quite adept psychic Pokemon. And what's the worst possible thing that a girlfriend could be able to do? Boys, Gardevoir can read your mind. You think it's bad that your girl reads through your texts? What if she's going through your mind? What if she's reading your subconscious thoughts? That's just, Bro. that's just a... <laughs> He has, he has thought about every brother type too. Oh my God. Recipe for disaster. And again, we're talking about waifus. How can I maintain a long-term relationship with that? I don't need to be having a, an intimate night of, of lovemaking with my Gardevoir. And she takes, she, she's like, she Dr. Stranges me and reads my mind. And she, she sees that I'm thinking about that sweet low punny, low pussy. There's always a cat. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not watching the rest of this. I'm not watching the rest of this. There's like a minute left. We'll do the last hypothetical. What's the worst Pokemon to be with? Ducky for the 1,500 biddies says, God damn. The worst Pokemon? I don't know, bro. Charizard? Probably a poison type. Diglett? Nah. Snorlax? No. Probably like Gengar. Ghastly. One of the ones that are like poisons or ghosts, those would be pretty shit, right? Because you probably couldn't even be around them. Squirtle, Ekans. Oh, Ekans is literally a snake. Ekans is literally a snake. Dude, you ever have that hypothetical, okay, what Pokemon would you date? And somebody says Ekans. Bro, they're literally just saying they would, they would do it with a snake. That is, that's just absurd. That it's it's literally not even a Pokemon. It's just it, it's just a, an animal that actually exists. Seki for the three hundred bits. I was going through. Uh, I was going a couple rounds with Charizard in the bedroom. Ran out of stamina. You have any codes for energy drinks? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Exclamation point. G fuel code Joe B. Twenty percent off. You can get your gamer energy up. All right. Next video. Six people with autism versus one fake. Y'all have sent this a bunch of times. Uh, we were going to watch it on Friday, but we kind of went over on time. Uh, and so we moved it to today as well as the cannibalism video. Um, but yeah, we're going to watch this now. Sinbad for the, th uh, the thousand biddies. Obviously picking Ditto. He can enter my orifices, then reach maximum capacity without killing me. See, like, you've put a lot of thought into it. Like, I see that you've put a lot of thought into it. All right. Six people with autism versus one fake. Any of you guys to be the mole. This like, is going to be like, the like, hardest thing. Even me, thing. myself, like, it's like, I think I'm the mole, honestly. <laughs> Isn't this kind of fucked up to go on this and, and act like you have autism? Like, isn't that a little wonky?
Like they, like, I, I want to know who did this. You know what I mean? Like you're really going on a show and faking having autism to, to win money against people with autism, right? Like you're going to try and convince them that you have autism so you can beat them and take money from them. Like, how did they get somebody to do this? Um, I think we just talk about our disabilities. I, I prefer disorder. D yeah. Disorder, yeah. yeah. Um, I was diagnosed in middle school, and then I transitioned to a school for people on the spectrum. Once I graduated middle school and went to that school, I kind of really enjoyed where I was at and everything. This is really hard because there's like so many <laughs> eyes on me already. It's just, it's just taken a while to accept that I have a disorder. There's people who I've met myself who say, You're, you have autism? And my family would be like, did you tell them you have, an, uh, do you, did you tell them you have a disability? Mm, no, I don't think I need to. But reality, it really does help to know that I do have autism. They first suspected me of being autistic when I was five, but they, they, were, they hesitated to diagnose me because I was too intelligent. I mean, that's a compliment right there, yeah, being too intelligent. I feel like in some ways it was a little this bit of This is fucked up? How is this fucked up? Amanda's the fake? What do you mean Amanda's the fake? Dude, I feel like any of them faking this is fucked. Any of them faking this is just fucked fucked like just like how are they gonna how are they what because they have to tell their story it's not like you're just standing there and being like oh yeah no i have autism too like you have to go in an in-depth story about how you got diagnosed and everything this is just gonna be a, such a shit show I was diagnosed at the age of two. I don't see it as a disorder or a disability because I don't see my autism as something that's negatively affected my life. Cause like, I like who I am. I like the way I think and I don't want to change a single thing about myself. Honestly, like being here is Dude, like I don't know. Who do we pick? Who do I, I always, whenever we watch an odd one out, I, I make a guess. I don't know how to make a guess. Who, who is the mole? I feel like I should let everybody speak first, just because their story is really how they're going to have to stick to it. Like we have to... Oh, go ahead, Amanda. Sorry. I spoke. The ginger girl. I personally see... Well, there's two gingers. Is she ginger? You're saying her. ...as a disability. I have a master's in disability studies. The medical model of disability inherently says that autism or any other disability is within our own fault and that we are the cause of the disability, but the social model of disability says that society is the cause of the disability. So autism is a disability because society is not made for me. That disability comes from without, not within. I grew up autistic and deaf. Yo, that actually was facts. Oh my God, that made so much sense. I've never heard somebody explain it like that. I've never heard somebody explain it like that. Because like if the rest of, it, it's, it's literally just the fact that the rest of the society isn't how they normally, like, their brain is wired, right? It's not the fact that their brain is wired in a wrong way to where they're not aided. It's to the effect that they're they're just not in a realm where everybody else wants to have the same situation that they're in. That makes no sense. I explained it terribly. How the fuck did she explain that perfectly? What the fuck? Hot Baba Man for the fucking five gifteds. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Think of the five gifties. Scarcore for the fringe bets. Imagine you're paying rent because you tricked six autistic people. And Ducky for the fringe bets. Since when does Joe do don't get canceled challenges? What comments are you going to make on this video, Joe? I don't know. I'm going to guess who the mole is. What do you mean? I, like, well, this isn't a don't get canceled challenge. This is literally just me watch. It's the same as any other video. Yeah, like, yes, it's more fucked for the person that's being the mole. But, like... It's the same as any other video. I'm trying to decide who is the mole. What? Hot Baba Man for the five gift is NCR for the three inch bets. Uh, what the fuck is this? It forces people on the autistic spectrum to compare their autisticness. That's fucked up. No, I'm more autistic than you. You're the mole. I don't think that's what it's going to go down to. I think that I, so far, I think they're just sharing their stories. I don't think it's going to get down to that point. But I really don't know what they're going to ask. Together for the five gifted subs. Together Aura for the fucking five gifted. Thank you for that. And Hot Baba Man too. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank both of them if you got a sub. And thank you guys for the five gifted subs. 
And I don't know what they're going to, I don't know how they're going to ask each other though. Like, like, how would you, how would you weed out the mall? I grew up feeling like I was such an outcast and, and, you know, and I was the odd one out. Oh, hey, I just used the name of the, sh that was fun. I was diagnosed um, when, I, when I was four years old and, um, it's um you know like it's it's always been a difficult process for me you know like basically going up you know going going to school and everything um you know know that people don't perceive me as, as this normal guy so I figure I figure if I'm gonna be this autistic person you know like might might as well be be the best autistic person uh, that I can be you know I always preach yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean I always uh, try my best to excel in school you know. Wazi for the fringe bets. Whoever is the mole, if they win, they're never going to get into college. And Joe Bart's for the sub. All of these people look older than college students. Always um, tend to be like one of the smart, smartest kids in school. You know, you know that's a whole stereotype. I would consider myself a late bloomer. I was diagnosed at the age of 22. I went most of my life um, always knowing that there was, there was something different about me, but I couldn't put my finger on it. The reason why I only got diagnosed this year was because I recently moved to a large metropolitan area that has many resources, yeah. and so that was um, one of the best. See, here's the thing that's like, <sighs> she seems nervous, but she could be nervous because she's talking in front of a group, or she could be nervous because she's lying. Like, I feel like whoever's lying would obviously be lying, but, like, you're not going to be able to know decisions I've ever made in my life because I have access to, to therapy and I was finally able to get an answer that I was always looking for. I really, really struggled to fit in. I really struggled to um, be able to come up with the right words to get other kids to want to talk to me. And so I, uh, I stood out pretty badly uh, and that continued throughout my- Do they ever interview them all? I've never even asked this question before. Do they ever interview the mole? Because whoever they interview, it's not, right? Because, like, then they have to fake another story there, too. They do interview the mole. Okay. Entire time in grade school. I remember first... Mr. Clean for the three bets. Why don't they do one of these with Down syndrome? Stop. You in for the sub. Uh, I simp for the sub. Oil for the thousand bits. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Should I quit my job at Target? They treat me like a child and tend to often bitch at me when I get overstimulated. Need a second opinion. Um, I have heard by a lot of other chatters that... I don't know if it's you, too. I don't know if you've told me about this before, but I've had other chatters say they work at Target and it fucking sucks. I always perceive Target as a great place, but most people that I ever speak to say Target sucks. Uh, if they're overworking you and it seems shitty and they're treating you like a child, then yeah, you could leave. It would just be like, do you have another job lined up? Ducky for the fringe bits. You could start looking for a job and then quit when you have one lined up. Yeah, everybody who works at Target fucking hates it. I don't know why. I'm assuming just because they have a bad management system. Ducky for the fringe bits. Use the information from the subtle body language. You'll know then who is the mole. Subtle body language? Feeling what depression was when I was around... Six. How the fuck do I know based off subtle body language? So when I was in university- Oh my god, from the video that we watched. See, they make us do these psychological studies because I was studying psychology. And they have different things you can apply for. And I noticed one of them was, um, they were studying autism in women, specifically like people who are older. So I applied and that was how I got my diagnosis, which was like, I was 21 then my wife and like one of my friends are actually the only people that n know I've been diagnosed so surprise family or friends anyone who's watching it was like an eye-opener it was kind of bittersweet because it was like I'm happy now who that the fuck is a mole I don't know answers to all things that were going on before that I thought there was might have been something wrong with me there is nothing wrong with you okay you're yeah. amazing yeah. I Thank agree you. with that I, I he hasn't talked at all I agree. <laughs> I agree now. <laughs> mm, he might share a story next. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one of these two right now. Should I go ahead? Yeah. Yeah, I was diagnosed with uh, when I was a child, but I didn't know I was autistic. Cause I mean, as a two, three, four year, and I mean, I don't know how 
won't even know. <laughs> it's like, sir, are you saying like, are you saying look at the body language, like certain like ticks they might have, or just like natural like movements? Like I don't know what you mean. Well, it's supposed to be up with them, so it's definitely hard to like to speak in a group situation because I can never tell the rules of like how, how to, like when to talk and when to speak up. Yo, chat, all, all of y'all are saying it's them every single time somebody new talks. Y'all have no idea who it is. Y'all are sitting here saying, oh, no, it's definitely them. Oh, no, it's definitely them. Every time it fucking moves. It's kind of like just jumping in, like, right when you're kind of feeling like it. Uh, plus, I've also blocked a lot of uh, my childhood memories from trauma. Tra and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I lived my whole life just wondering why I I'm gonna transfer. I'm going to transfer my movement. I think it might be Darius. People d understand. Like, understand. Fuck. Who is it? One of these three. Darius, Sophia, I forget her name. One of these three. I'm going to go with. They each other. Yeah. I, can I ask yeah. you guys a question about, like, um, what, what are the stimulants? Like, do you guys like chew gum or do you guys, like, have anything that you guys do specifically to, like, keep you See, guys? See, I feel like that's, that's a good question. Just certain things that, like, might be, yeah, like, certain things that are specific to them. And that would be, you would have to crack somebody's story. Calm or keep you Because obviously you would have an easy answer. Go ahead, Amanda. The color pink. The color nice. pink. Okay. That's my favorite color in the whole world. My whole room is pink at home. My bed is pink. My bed spread is pink. And my pillows are pink. And my rug is pink. And my carpet is pink. I even have a framed pink picture of mine. And most of my clothes are pink. I love pink. It's the best color in the whole world. Okay. Okay. I've never I love, heard I love color. blue, too. I, like I don't like pink. I don't like pink because... Not, not because of, like, oh, it's a stereotypic, like, girly color. I just think pink is, like, bland to a degree. Like, it's almost... Yeah, no, I'm not dissing the pink. I'm not dissing people that like pink. Like, my girlfriend likes pink. Like, I like I, a lot of people like pink. I just don't like pink because it's bland. Blue, too, but pink is better. It's oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's subjective. How do you guys feel about the term high-functioning? I don't like that term at all. High-functioning autism refers to individuals with minimal support needs, not a diagnosis or official medical term and is not found in the DSM-5. Oh, they think about it too much. I, I don't know. think I think about it. How can a color be bland? Because it's more grayish. Like pink, like even bright, bright pink is ugly as fuck. Regular pink is, is nearing like, like grayish, not gray to me. It just looks bad. I don't like pink. I've never liked pink. I love purple. I love purple. I like blue. I like green. I like most colors. I hate pink. I hate pink. I hate yellow. I hate yellow. Autism is too much of a spectrum. So many people with autism have so many. Lyrics for the sub. Rhino for the 300 bits. Ghost for the sub. Oil for the 560 bits. And Scarcore for the 300 bits. I think the way they don't make this fucked is that the mole has some other form of disability that isn't necessarily autism. Do you think that's what they're going to do? And oil for the 560 bits. I'm autistic. I get overstimulated by touch and sound. They put me on a lane checkout, and there was a day where I almost started crying. Management proceeded to come over passive aggressively when I asked to move. I found out recently that everything I've mentioned to one crew member has spread to most of the management. So now I talk to almost no one. Yeah, fucking quit. Fucking quit. Leave Target. Fuck Target on that one. What the fuck? Like if it's that if it's that bad and they're being that much of a dick, yeah, I would say you'll just find another job. Like, at that point, especially if you're young. Universe for the 300 bitties. What's your opinion on Breaking Bad? Uh, I started watching it for a second time and quit halfway through, but I really do like Breaking Bad. Uh, and Ghost for the 300 bitties. Partation. Or Partation for the 300 bits. Have you heard about... I, I heard you talking about this the other day. Irrelevant, but my midterms and finals are almost six hours long. I'm wielding... I'm a welding and fabrication major. How do you have a fucking welding final? Do you just make something? Or do you have to have, like, a fucking multiple-choice quiz? How do you even have a welding final? Whale for the sub, Ducky for the 300 bits. Love the content. Blowing all my money on you right now. You don't need to send any more bits, Ducky. You've been sending a lot this stream. Uh, you don't have to send bits at all. Another W stream. Keep up the fantastic work. Thank you. Many different experiences. I can't choose any of you guys to be the mole. This like, is going to be like, the hardest me, thing. myself, like, it's like, I think I'm the mole, honestly. Like, <laughs> like, like oh, they were like, try to find the mole. And we're like, maybe there's none. There's no mole. <laughs> Just go on. Even the person who's... Yo, maybe there is no mole. They haven't eliminated anyone. 
Because neurotypical might just be an un undiagnosed autism. Yeah. You never know that. You never know about that. I mean, like, damn, all this relates. Wait a second. Huh. The mole might not be neurotypical. Just because someone doesn't have autism doesn't mean that mole could have, like, ADHD or OCD. Yeah. And, and, it's and, could, and could be overlapping the symptoms. Yeah! Oh, my God. That's what they probably did. The person who's the mole probably has, like, anxiety, ADHD, or OCD. And so they share some of the same, like, stimulants or tics or certain things that people have. But they're just not diagnosed um, autistic. So they would blend in to the, to the effect of the stories more. That, are, that could be associated with autism as well. My Damn, kid who has is it then? I don't fucking know. Genetic condition that um, is not autism but it does manifest behaviorally and neurologically in, in many ways that are similar to autism. So when, um, when people interact with my kid, they often see an autistic child, but my kid doesn't, isn't autistic. Does autism run in um, any of your guys' family? I realized I was autistic because my little uh, half-brother, he's like... Is so autism a genetic thing? Like, is there a genetic probability that you'll get it more? Like, I don't... Yes? I don't even know. That's why I'm asking. Harry for the sub... Uh, Javi for the fringe bets. What's your favorite, least favorite class? Uh, I change classes every semester. I haven't even started this semester. Last semester, my least favorite class was oceanography. My most was church and state in America. The Spice for the fringe bets. Have you ever taken a colorblind test? Not dissing, you just never, I've never heard anybody say pink looks kind of gray. No, I've never taken a colorblind test. I might be. I don't really know. I've never really cared enough to fucking try it out. Is... No, but like that kind of looks grayish to me. I don't like, not grayish, it just looks bland. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Five years old. Oh, well, I guess he's eight, seven now. Whoops, I don't know his age. <laughs> but like, I, I see him, I'm like, huh, I wasn't I like that when I was a kid? My mom was like, yeah, yeah, because we thought so, we thought you Take one on stream? I don't think I'm colorblind. Colorblind test. One. Eight. Five. Four, four, nine, eight, eight, bro, like this ain't hard. Seven, one, seven, three, oof, six, easier six, three, two, for that one, those are, like, very... Those are almost the same, but I can still see them. Like, it's a very slight difference, but I still notice it. Eight. Nine. Seven. Yeah, I think I got all of them right. Oh, normal color vision. Yeah, no, it says I'm not colorblind. I was like, what? And I just found out that my that my youngest nephew had, was just recently diagnosed with autism as well. So, but luckily he had an uncle who, who already experienced some everything that he's going to experience, and I can end up be, awesome. and I and I could be a mentor towards him. Yeah, my dad is an undiagnosed autistic. Sorry, dad. Dude, did they reveal anyone, or did they eliminate anybody? Suppressing certain behaviors uh, we find soothing, but others think are weird, such as stimming or intense interest. Passing sometimes because. Bro, I want to see who it is. We don't really have a good representation like, of like, No, like, we don't. <laughs> what that movie with Dustin Hoffman, no, Rain, Rain Man, you know? Yeah, yeah where, yeah. like, where, you know, you, you having, you being on the spectrum, all of me, you, you're good at gambling. I wish I was good at gambling or That's something. Funny. None of them have the same experiences that I do. So there's no way to have pinpointed, oh, this person is more quiet, this person is more social awkward. There's no way to tell who was autistic or not. On the count of three, will the mole... They didn't even remove... Okay, I think that's fair. They didn't They didn't get rid of anybody. Please raise their hand. One. All right, hold, it. hold on. Two. I think she's going to raise her hand. She looks like she's about to... Three. Oh! oh. Who could have seen what? that coming?
I totally didn't see that coming. I was shook. I, I, I was like, no, like, no, it cannot be her. It can't, it can't be her. I never would have guessed. I actually didn't lie about anything. I just um, flipped out autism with FASD. And it stands for Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. I was exposed to alcohol. A group of conditions that occurs in a person who is exposed to alcohol before birth. Wow. When I was inside my mom in the womb for the first five months. And um, you can kind of think of FAS... D as a spectrum, just like um, ASD. Even though she might not have been autistic, there are a lot of overlaps between autism and many other neurological disabilities. Damn, they actually did that well by by kind of blending the, the experiences similarly. Your mic is quiet as fuck. My mic is not quiet as fuck. Yo, my chat got it right though. Most of you guys said it was the redhead. I feel like y'all already watched the video. I feel like y'all are a bunch of fucking liars and you acted like, oh, no, this is the first time I've seen it. This is the first time I've seen it. Oh, no, it's definitely the redhead. Yeah, like you fucking knew, dickheads. You ain't fucking know. Carrot for the fridge bets. If it's the pink girl, that would be so fucked. I mean, it makes sense, but like... Nah, that was a good video. That was a good video. Nine days ago. I want to see what the comments... Hey, everybody, this is Darius. I would like to thank Jubilee. Oh, shit, I'm not showing my screen. Thank Jubilee uh, for having me on here. I love how immediately it just felt like people forgetting they were in the game and bonding over this shared experience. Yeah, it, w it was a different odd one out. It wasn't people trying to, like, come at each other's throats and shit. This episode was done really well. I do think it was. WVID. Yeah, literally WVID. I think they did that well. Because they could have easily made that fucked up. If they tried pitting everybody against each other, that would have been bad. All right. Hold up. Let me go piss real quick. Then we'll, then we'll start up the next reaction where they people are eating prison food. <clears throat> All right. Man, this one's kind of mid. I don't really like that funk song as much. I still have it in my playlist. It's not that good, though. All right. Next video. Hold up. Try to keep eating prison food. The brick, what I do off, cake, and Bombay whip. Uh, carrot for the three inch bits. My mom, who's a psychologist, called it passing by. What do you mean? They literally just walked by you and guessed who it was? Mean, dude. This was good. I was severely mistaken by yeah. saying this was not that bad. We've got a fascinating try to keep eating challenge for you today. So today we are trying some of the ingenious recipes that inmates have created in prison. Oh, okay. Oh heck yeah! I was on prison talk. I know. I know this game. Wait. <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm kind of excited. To win, you must keep eating each item while continuously watching the video of how it's made. If you stop eating or look away from the video at all, you'll lose a point and there is a punishment. Why are they excited to eat prison food? And they have to watch how it's made? What if it's made in like a toilet? Bro, ooh, dude, you're, you're going to be eating like actual, it's just like people like mashing stuff together to get like semi good tasting food. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. No, you're gonna get, no. Heck yeah. Oh, no man. prize. No. No Nerd. prize, only pain. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this looks oh, dope. It, yo. Okay. <gasps> so we have perhaps the most notorious of all the prison food recipes, the brick, jailhouse burrito, Chi Chi, and many more. It looks delicious. What is in that? What is in that? I'm ready. Mm. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make a Florida prison Brick. Okay. Who is he this said a Florida. It's hard. Yeah, Why is it hard? Oh my god, I'm dropping <laughs> it everywhere. This is good, honestly. This is 
is surprisingly decent. <laughs> now you want to make sure that you're not popping the ass end of the bag because you need this bag. <laughs> the ass. This is very vital. <laughs> How did they find this guy making a tutorial for this shit? Said the ass end. So stop mixing it after the first one. And I mean, that doesn't look that bad. It literally just looks like hot Cheetos and ramen. Bon appetit. Did they put pickle juice in this? Oh, that's what this is. It's pickles. What we're going to do to cook this is we're going to add hot water. The thing is, I feel like I've probably like mm, had boiling water in a plastic bag. Hmm. Cancer. Hmm. This combination of flavors mm. just in a different way. Love that. The real for the sub. That's clean, dude. Oh my god, wow. look at it. I'm like, wow. I'm honestly, kind of impressed. You know, we're gonna add is the tuna. This is so oh. nasty. Oh, you ruined it there. Oh, I would have eaten that shit without the tuna. Oh, canned tuna on top of that shit. Oh my god. Once that's done, we're gonna add on our ketchup and then our sugar. Sugar? 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 We're gonna add some Doritos and voila. This is good. Bro, there yeah, has right? to be something they're gonna fucking hate. Izzy and uh, Daniel Coleman loved it. Really? Mm -hmm. No. No. It feels kind of wrong to eat this. Why? It, it tastes bad. There's something about it that yeah, makes you feel a Yeah, fucking better. good shit. Give your honest opinion. Oh, my God. Mmm, he's so innovative. Yeah, like, but, dude, tuna and fucking pickled, like, pickle juice and ramen? That sounds awful. The tuna is what ruined it. Everything else looks fucking good. Dirty? Yeah. I'm curious how much trial and error. Through, right, you know. and the pickle juice was a surprise but welcomed twist. And it like my throat. Didn't it wouldn't let swallow. me swallow. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. let me swallow. It kept on like closing up. I was like, am I gonna throw up on React again? <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Wait, what? Is this like Kool Aid? Or oh, like... but it's wow, that's an interesting. So... Oh, it's like Kool Aid it's, and it, coffee. Yeah, I was like, this smells like Kool Aid and coffee. Kool Aid and coffee. Yo, these people gotta be NPCs talking about, oh, this battery, oh, mmm, mmm, it smells like Kool-Aid and coffee. Bro, you, no, in what world is that a good combination? In what world is that a good combination? You're really sitting there, bro, they like anything. They're gonna eat anything. Oh, mmm, mmm, poop water. Mm. Yeah, no, stop, bro. Kool-Aid and coffee, what? This one might mess me up. It's bitter and sweet. The Bombay or Bombay Whip is initially a Georgia prison slang for non-alcoholic social drink using instant coffee cool-aided soda. It's primarily consumed by a group who all pitch in to make it because a lot of these ingredients are expensive at the commissary. And mm -hmm. because of its high caffeine and sugar content, people say they get geeked on it. Geeked. <laughs> what is geeked? Does that mean high? What is geeked? You get geeked on Kool-Aid, coffee, and what What? What else was in that shit? Drunk? You're not going to get drunk on Kool-Aid and coffee. I'm not the right person. I'm trying to, to get that. geeked. Damn, this one's going to suck. I don't like coffee. Me neither. Cheers. Cheers. Sure, yes, sir. Bombay today. No cow. Oh, with well, Jolly Rancher. Got the Kool-Aid. Yeah! And the, oh. the coffee. Oh! need to do that why are you slugging that shit oh my god oh my god <coughs> um absolutely not oh my god that's fucking gross dude dude why did he chug that and then regurgitate it? <laughs> It's like a strong coffee punch and then like a bit of Kool-Aid and soda. Like I'm scared to lick the foam off my lip. <coughs> oh my God. Mm -hmm. God, that one tasted like ass. Yeah, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of this one. He's so excited. He's Nothing. feeling himself right now. Like, I mean, shout out to the homie. Is but... this filmed in prison? It was the... Liquid, and then immediately a glob of something hitting the back of my throat. 
<laughs> no, dude. No, dude, I quit. I quit the play. It tasted like what an unsupervised child would make. <laughs> And then because they're adults, they also threw coffee in it. Bro, you remember that show where they open a box and there's ingredients in it and they can only make shit with those ingredients? What is that show? Chopped. Yes. Dude, that's exactly what I would do when I was like 10. I used to watch this show Shopped and I would get a bunch of random ass ingredients with my friends like cheese and Skittles and like chocolate chips. And I would be like, all right, you got to make something. And you would just fucking whip that shit up. Like that looks just like a random combination of ingredients. I didn't taste any coffee. Really? Uh, Elias for the sub, Erase for the sub, and Javon for the three. My mom told me when I was born, I came out quiet. When the doctor smacked my butt, I just stared. Okay. Taste no coffee. Okay, well, that's probably because you got all of it down at the same time. You couldn't taste anything. I'm saying the weirdest thing to me is that they have to resort to this because conditions are such garbage. Once again, I already know that I lost. I'm going to give it the old college try. I'm going to take another sip. That's not the one. Again, visually, not very appealing. No. Oh, it's very stiff. Oh, it's gonna be like one of like in a, like a movie when like you start okay. throwing up and I start throwing up. <laughs> From Chef Finesse, we have his secret. Oh, prison, prison gumbo! Get me the fuck out of here! Uh 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 uh. Nah, no, no, nah, bro. Gumbo recipe. Ah. Yeah, that's gumbo. Prison gumbo. Oh, it might be good. Cake finesse here on the rail, man. Check it out. About to make Who's me some allowing phones in these prisons? Yeah, how did they? And why is it? Is he just making like a YouTube series of the food that he makes? Got some baby clams to throw in that bitch. <laughs> Got my crick meat I'm to put in that bitch. Oh. Mm. This is the best one so far. Yeah, no, it's just really good. <laughs> this one is not bad. Yeah, this is very nutritionally dense. Is it like a nutrition. lemonade thing? Oh my god, that's so cute. Do they have an oven? Like, how are they cooking this? Wait, what is he? What is he using to boil it? It's good. Seafood is seafood. Heck yeah. I just hate gumbo. I just hate gumbo and the fact that it's like probably like lesser, like like worse ingredients because you have to work with what you have. Oh my god. It does go down. Mm-hmm. No, this is actually fire. All right, prison gumbo. Prison gumbo, not bad. I'm pretty sure that they make gumbo because they're like, dang, I miss my mom's gumbo. <laughs> like, I get it. 100% <laughs> that makes sense. I would do that sense. too. You were talking about like, like family and community but that also happens in yeah. prison. So you bring you bring that into it as well. Yeah, his crew is in the back excited. Just wilding for <laughs> him, yo. They're like, yo. Let's go chef on us. Round two. I think yeah, I think there's a, I think there's slim jim going on here. That's a slim jim, dude. Yeah. Those are slim jims. Those are slim jims. Slim jims? Show me what the fuck it is. Legend turn prisoner Andy Roy shared his sweet and sour pork. Oh, that looks good as fuck. Oh, that looks good as fuck. See, I would I would mac that. I would no doubt I would destroy that. Right? You got you're throwing in little bits of slim jims. Some hot sauce and ramen. Oh, I'm eating that. Oh, I'm eating that. That looks good. Munchies. I don't care. That looks good. The gumbo looks fucking bad. Elias for the two subs. Minecraft for the fucking sub. We've recreated it for you. Sounds Sweet and cool. sour pork. Cool. That's sick. Andy Roy had suffered injuries related to skateboarding and turned to heroin, which sent him down the dark path to prison. Giovanni for the sub. He's currently sober and mentors kids interested in skateboarding. What the fuck is a Slim Jim? You're clearly not from the United States. Let me let me let me let, let me bring you into the Slim Jim world here, man. Okay? Let me give you, let, let me bring you into the Slim Jim world here. Okay? It's a stick of meat, okay? You get you get them in a pack. They're good as fuck, okay? This one has cheese with it. Normally you just get a long slab of meat. It's usually spiced. Right? It has a long snap. A pretty hard out texture. You go, and you can snap it. It goes, it's like pork, right? It's not pork, actually. It's it's the worst parts of a chicken. If you read the ingredients of a Slim Jim, it's mechanically separated chicken, right? They kind of ground all the bits up that nobody wants to eat. 
and they jam it into uh, a Slim Jim. It's so good, though. It's so fucking good. I don't know how healthy they are, but they're so fucking good. It's like beef jerky, kind of. Not really. It's in the beef jerky aisle. Skateboarding and is now an advocate for the recovering community. Shout out, man. I feel like every one of these has ramen. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait, that's good. Wait, that's good. It's, it's not. It's not good. Yo, can we skip this chat? These people have the worst reactions of all kind. Or of mankind, bro. Literally. Literally, bro. They're just like, nah. Oh, nah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This is good. No, it's not good. Hey, it was prison cake. Why does it look like a couch cushion? <laughs> I smell, I smell some uh, Fruit Loop type thing going on. Uh, it smells fruity. So finally, we have a jailhouse or doo-wop cake. Oh. That don't look that bad. That don't look that bad. It's probably just cereal and a bunch of other random shit. That looks pretty good, too. I'm going to move by, bro. I don't want to watch this. Uh, can you react to scary stuff today? Yeah, to end off, I will. But that'll be in like an hour and a half. David for the sub. All right, we're going to move to the next vid. Uh, which one are we going to start with? Actually, let's start with this one. This one's a short one. Living in 1,500 square feet inside Hong Kong's coffin homes. In this older walk-up building in Yaozi Mong, Milton Chan has finally grown used to his new unit. It's not much, but it will have to do. He lives in a subdivided flat that's been carved up into 18 wooden cubicles. That's his home? Oh, 15, not 1,500. Bro, wait, did I say 1,500? Bro, 15 square feet. Oh, my God. Dude, that's enough to, like, lay down. Barely. It doesn't even look like they can. They look like coffins, with each being no larger than a ping pong table. What would it be like to live in one of these tiny spaces? Bro, people actually have to live in a house that time. Milton is one of 220,000 Hong Kongers living in cramped and claustrophobic subdivided flats. Milton can only afford the smallest of places. Yo, this fucking sucks. I have all their clothes, all their food, everything stacked on top of them. This is even worse than a college dorm. In a college dorm, you at least have, like, a little walking space. They literally get on their bed. They have no floor. It's just their bed. And then everything else. In Hong Kong, living spaces are measured in square feet. Milton's unit is 15 square feet, which is only 1.5.9 oh, feet. He can't even lay down. Oh my fucking god. Dude, I would have to I would have to lay I would have to lay with my legs bent. I couldn't even lay down. You couldn't even sleep like that. That's probably less than a twin bed. Oh my god. 5.9 feet, bro. Square meters. Barely enough to lie down in. With a bed and little else, the space still costs Milton 1,300 Hong Kong dollars a month. More than 166 USD a month. What does that compare to rent in, like, New York City rents? Mad expensive. But, I mean, you can't really compare that because even a small place in New York City isn't as small as this. I feel like that would be illegal in the U.S. to have something this tiny. Fifth of his monthly salary. It's so small that inmates at Hong Kong's Stanley Prison oh, have more space. If you were to place Milton's unit in this prison cell, it would only take up one-fifth of the available space. With space limited, Milton has to store his things on hooks or on shelves that make the unit seem even smaller. Luckily, being in the bottom bunk means extra space for storage boxes underneath his mattress. Bro, and you're right next to other people. This ain't some shit like, oh, you have like a room and then right next to your room is somebody else like in college. Like, no, literally like a drywall and then somebody else next to you, to your right, to your left, above you, and below you. Oh, fuck no. Space. 
17 others live in stacked spaces in a flat that measures 400 square feet. Y'all think you could live in this? A single air conditioner is used for ventilation. One? No, it's sweaty and it probably smells. One air conditioner for 17 individual homes. Or like, it's not really a home because it's 15 fucking square feet. One air conditioning unit for 15 rooms. That's ass. Far Dude, you're on the other side. You're on this end. Dude, it's going to be hot as balls. Enough to air out the narrow corridors between units. Everyone here shares two toilets and a communal kitchen. Kept clean by one of the tenants paid two by the- Two toilets to 18 people? Landlord. The wooden enclosures- and one kitchen? Oh my god. Bro, I'd probably just eat ramen in my room every day. I'm literally about to look up one of these rooms. I want to see what they actually look like in real life. Oh, chat. Chat. Bro. Like, he can't even lay down. Here's another one. He can't even lay down all the way. I mean, this guy can, but he's probably sitting up. Like, you just have to have everything fucking stacked. He has eggs. He has uh, he has just eggs out. Eggs out. A fucking fan. I mean, that probably, yeah, that's probably what you have to run. Then he has a TV and that's it. Like, literally nothing, bro. That sucks. That actually sucks. Have sliding doors. Fish for the sub, MC for the sub. I'm figuring for the three inch bets. Serena to see for months, came back to shore. I haven't worked out on low funds. Uh, trying to get a swig of G Fuel. Any code to get me percentage off? Code Joe B, 20% off. Exclamation point G Fuel. Uh, fish for the sub. That offers some semblance of privacy from other tenants, but they do nothing to block out sound. Milton is often annoyed with the woman who lives above him, who plays loud videos late at night. I'm punching a hole right through the roof. Somebody above me, bro, they're laying down and they're just watching fucking cartoons at 4 a.m. Hole right through the roof. Right through the fucking roof punching that shit. I'm not dealing with that. No, that would be awful, dude. Any noise you would hear from somebody else. You would never be able to sleep. But despite the poor conditions, Milton still prefers this unit to his last place. A cage home around the block. The he fuck is a cage home? What is a cage home? Oh my god, they're even worse. Holy shit. You don't even have privacy. It's literally like a steel cage. It's literally a steel cage. It's the same thing, but it's a steel fucking cage. And less space. That's awful. That's fucking awful out when his rent and utilities rose suddenly. By the end, Milton was paying close to 2,000 Hong Kong dollars a month. Not only was it more expensive, it was also a square foot smaller with no space under his mattress. He ended up having to store things on his bed, giving him no space to fully extend his legs. Wire mesh was used as walls, which meant zero privacy. You just sleep in somebody. You literally, you literally see your neighbor. You literally see your neighbor. You literally see your neighbor. You're just fucking falling asleep. Oh, good night, Tim. And he's just staring at you through the fucking cage. Dude, that'd be nerve wracking too. Somebody could just fucking rob you. Layout of the place was similar to his current one with two dozen units. But in this flat, no one was paid to clean the facilities. Oh God. So the two toilets and kitchen were nearly unusable. Milton's experiences represent the most notorious of Hong Kong's shoebox housing, brought about by being the most expensive property market. Dude, that's so sad. That's so fucking sad. Like, their whole life, too, probably. Like, you, you're born, you're born, you live, in, you live in a unit like this, and then you die in a unit like that. And that's your life. That's your life. Work until, like, 75... Like, every day sleeping in a 15-foot square home. MC for the sub. ...in the world. 
a nano flat only slightly larger than the average parking space would cost you a few million Hong Kong dollars, at an average of 25,500 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. Is it more expensive than New York? Three grand a foot? Three grand a square foot. No. Dude, 4.4 million Hong Kong dollars for one, one, 173 square feet. But why the outrageous costs? It's because there's not enough land to supply the city's population. Nearly 7.3 million, according to the latest estimate. Only a quarter of the city is suitable for development. That's around a quarter the size of New York City, oh God. which has a population of 8.8 .8 million. So they're one quarter of the size with 1.5 less mil or 1.5 million less people. Dude, that's nuts. New York's already fucking packed. As a result, most of Hong Kong's poor have to live in flats that have been subdivided into smaller units like this. They're usually around 121 square feet and include a private toilet and a kitchen. But these flats often house an entire family. Vanessa and Bill live in this subdivided flat with their son and infant daughter, sharing two bunk beds among the four of them. The unit only provides 40 square feet per person if you exclude the baby. On top of that, large equipment like this fridge and washing machine end up taking up most of their living space. A decade ago, Bill's print shop went bankrupt. Dude, what if you're claustrophobic? Like, you're just fucked. Like, if you're scared, I mean, you'd probably be born into this, so you wouldn't be scared of small spaces. But, like, imagine literally being claustrophobic and having to live in that. Not, not that one. That one, actually, you can walk around. The other one, where you just gotta lay down. Forcing the family to move you out can't of even their stand up in your house. previous flat. He is still the sole breadwinner for the family, but only earns 10,000 Hong Kong dollars as a supermarket porter. Rent and utilities take up more than half their household income at close to 6,000 Hong Kong dollars a month. Vanessa stays at home to care for their two children, giving special attention to Dennis, who just started his first year at a public primary school. She's also in charge of cleaning and cooking. No one is allowed to use the bathroom when she cooks because the odor can be smelled in the kitchen. You take a shit and you smell it in the whole house. She also only prepares steamed or boiled dishes, since the greasy smell of stir fry would linger. Oh. The cramped space is closed in even further by a large cupboard, which had to be placed in front of their only window. Vanessa and Bill hope that they'll be able to move out before their kids grow up. Renting public housing would be their best option, being much more affordable at 2,500 Hong Kong dollars a month for nearly double the size of their current unit. But they have no idea when they'll get an offer. The average waiting time for public housing is 5.6 years. Jesus Christ! Dude, this fucking blows! Why would anyone... I mean, like, I know they're not choosing to live there, but, like, fuck. I would admit the second I had the chance to leave, I would fucking leave. The second I had the chance to fucking leave. Fucking With six years to, to even get a house. Close to one sixteenth of waiting applicants receiving an offer between the summers of 2019 and 2020. The Hong Kong government has said that- Well, what year was this made? A month ago. That increasing the housing supply is Bro, a priority- people that applied in 2019 are waiting. The target is to end subdivided housing by 2049. But that's more than two decades away. Bro, I'll be so for 47. Dude, y'all ever think about that? Like 30 years from now, you're going to look back at your life and be like, damn, like I'm going to die soon. Like, that's crazy. I mean, realistically, you could die any day. But like, life is mad short. Life is mad short. Like, you don't, you don't think about it right now because like every day seems long. But in hindsight, like, what did 2022 go by pretty fast, chat? Yeah. You only get, like, 60 of those. You get, like, 60. 60 more years. And then you'll probably be dead. Like, I'm 20. I turn 21 in, like, three weeks. 
Like, I'll probably die before I turn 80. I have, like, 50-something years left, and then I'm dead forever, and life's over. Like, that sucks. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to ruin people's moods. Okay, chat? But I'm just saying. Alec for the sub, MC for the sub. For those still waiting, Hong Kong offers a- Stop, please? Bro, I mean, it's, it's real. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, trying to ruin the vibe by just, like, saying, like, depressing shit. Like, I'm speaking facts. Like, most people die before they turn 75. Roof and- Like, what is the average lifespan in America? Seventy-seven, and it's going down. U.S. male. Yeah, men at seventy-seven, women it might be a little bit more. <coughs> that sucks. And bed, but little else. Enjoy life while you're living it. Facts. That is the takeaway. But this really does suck, though. Like, like that actually, that like being born in that scenario would, would really be awful. This is reality. The reason they use graphics instead of real footage is because with media has shown these cages or coffins on TV before the government would respond by cracking down on these buildings and kicking the tenants out of their home. So the government's hiding it. In order to prevent further individuals being uh, punished for bringing attention to the issue, they use graphics to describe things and prevent risking the public. Oh, shit. If he showed their fucking... It, wait, it's a fake raid? Yeah, that's a fake raid. Um, If he showed... If he showed their, um... Like, actual pictures and shit, they would get, they would get fucking kicked out. Wow. Yeah, no, that's a fake raid, though. I'll look up the user, but I'm almost sure that's a fake raid. Yeah, that's fake. They put... Hi, Joe. I mean, hello... Uh, please don't do fake raids. I would appreciate it if we did not get fake raids. What's their user? Don't ban them. But I mean, like, yeah, don't, don't do fake raids. No, no real point in that. All right, hold up. All right, next video. Visiting the tribe that eats humans. Papua Island. We have like an 18 set. We have an 1800 second timeout policy for people who do fake raids. I didn't even know about that. I got to scan this video real quick. I think it should be fine now. They blur the nudity. Cannibalism has. Elvid, this is boring. Yo, that's crazy how I haven't even clicked play yet. That's crazy how I clicked play for one second and you already complained. Like, that's shocking. That might be a world record. You complained before I even put the video on been around for millenniums, but there's still one island where it is practiced to this day. I'm walking through the jungle in Papua right now. They're all holding bow and arrows behind me. Okay, yeah, okay. But do they eat people, like genuinely hunt humans? Or do they eat people, like, religiously? You know what I mean? Like, are they waiting for the person to die, or are they killing somebody and eating them? Like, I feel like that, yes, both are cannibalism, right? But I feel like that has to be a definitive difference he has to, he has to tell me. If they're hunting humans, that's different from, like, spiritually eating somebody afterwards. Both, yeah, are uncommon, but one is much more radical than the other. World's last cannibal tribe. Traveling to Papua Island in many ways is the pinnacle of exploration. This remote Melanesian island is larger than Texas and is the most diverse place on earth with 312 different tribes speaking over a thousand unique languages. In my eyes, Papua is the- Yo, he coming in clutch with the censors. Drew Binsky coming in clutch. I can actually watch the video. Dub climax of anthropology the study of humans who have been living on this island for more than 65,000 years so it is 601 a.m and i am heading to west papua indonesia to meet the korowai tribe however my camera guy just got denied at immigration so i'm going in alone and i'm kind of petrified 
I would not go. I, yo, I'm saying that right now. Yo, would y'all go? But if you got invited, you get invited to go to this island. I would go to the island. I would not want to go. I would not want to go uh, like to a cannibal area. See, that's what I don't know. Like, if they're cannibals that just eat people, that's different than like, okay, we eat people like when they're a part of our tribe and they die or something like that. Because like that's different, right? Because then I wouldn't be worried that they're gonna kill me. But like, if they're just genuinely like, oh yeah, no, we hunt and kill. We hunt, kill, and eat humans. I'd be like, uh, uh what's preventing them from killing me? Brandy for the 300 bits. Since you said fuck you to me last stream, can you say fuck you back to Brayden for me? What do you mean? Vibes for the sub. Oh, fuck you back to Brayden. Oh my God, because didn't Brayden get you to do this? Yeah, fuck you, Brayden. Ryder for the $10 dono. Hey, five inch here. Congrats on the higher view count. You used to have 3.2K. Now you have 4K. Well, that's today. Uh, this month, I've still averaged low 3K. Normally, I average like mid two. Like, my genuine average view count is, like, 2.5K. Some days I'll average more. Some days I'll average less. It's usually around there. Uh, January is usually a good month, so I average more viewers. But uh, thank you, nevertheless. But that is how uh, views work. Hold up. I've showed this before. Un momento. Like, as you can see, it, it goes up and down and it climbs. Like, this is this month, 3,500. Last month was three. It just goes up and down every month. That's with most streamers. Because it's live streaming. As soon as I touch down in Jayapura, the largest city in West Papua... Still thousands of people watching simultaneously? Oh, yeah, no. I'm grateful either way. Even when I have 2.5K, it's still a shitload of people. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, normally this is an inflated number. I had a massive logistical nightmare. Oh, you're Otis. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? yeah. This is Otis, a friend of a friend of a friend who is from Jayapura. A he friend of a friend of a friend. Yeah. A friend of a friend of a friend is going to take me. Bro, that's what your friend says when, he, when, when he's like, oh, oh, you're smoking that joint? Where'd you get that from? A friend of a friend of a friend. Before weed was legal in New Jersey. Yeah, that's sketch ass shit. Oh, you want to go? You want to go to this weird house? Yeah, no, it's a friend of a friend's of a friend's. Yeah, you want to go You want to go meet these cannibals? My friend of a friend of a friend's going to bring you. No, no. I don't know who that is. Moses for the sub. He immediately breaks the bad news that we failed to get a license. I know a guy. Yeah, my friend Johnny's friend, Mike's friends, John's friends, Don, knows this guy who knows this guy who knows this guy, right? And that guy lives in Papua, right? But that guy's friend's friend's friend is this dude, right? And he knows the people in the cannibal tribe. He's going to take you, right? You guys are boys, right? Basically down the line. Since tour guide to take us to the tribe because it's too dangerous. If he says no, do we have another guy to yeah. go? Yeah. Who? For uh, another guy. Yeah. I'm having weird feelings right now about this trip. I don't know if it's the best idea. Usually it's called trust your gut. Right now, my gut tells me, don't go. Hey, hey, hey. In order to get to the tribe, we must take a Yo, domestic flight. Imagine a YouTube headline. YouTuber Drew Binsky went to Cannibal Island to film a documentary, got killed and eaten. Oh my God. That would be like, I know that's not obviously how it would go down, but that would be fucking nuts. A bird for the sub. Flight and you cannot book the tickets online only at an airline office, just like it's 1985. Do you have a flight on the 3rd, November 3rd? Damn, he filmed this shit in November? He just posted this. Wow. November 3rd, to see if they have available, if they have tickets. Yeah. We're at a ticket agency booking manual tickets. So when's the last time you actually went to an office? That's what happened to Rockefeller? What, the gas guy? John Rockefeller got eaten by cannibals. I don't think that's what happened to him. He died from art arteriosclerosis. He didn't get eaten. The fuck? Handed a piece of paper with the ticket. The funny thing is that we don't even know that we have a guide yet, but we're a different Rockefeller. Okay, well, that at that point, 
Oh, yeah, a different Smith. Oh, yeah, no, that's how, that's what happened to Smith. Yeah, why don't you just give me the most common last name ever? Kratos for the 300 bets. I know a friend's dog's cousin who knows a guy who knows another guy who knows another cousin of the dog, and he has a friend that gave me a big parking ticket. Cole for the 300 bets. Have you ever thought about playing Stray? Already did. Uh, played it in, like, whenever it came out. Like, two weeks after it came out. Already finished it. The tickets. But, chat, exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord. Send videos for me to react to in the video suggestion tab and send games for me to play in the game suggestion tab. I also, uh, the game suggestion tab's new. The video suggestion tab's always been there. Right? Yeah, right. You read it for the guys. <laughs> I'm about to fast forward till they go there. I don't really care about how they get there. Otis. You're killing. Actually, I kind of do. I want to see if he gets scared. I was sitting on a plane with three strangers and had no idea where I was going. What do you mean you had no idea where you were going? You booked a fucking flight, Drew. We made it. Woo! We hitchhiked a ride on the back of a truck and headed for- Can one of my mods spam the Discord link? Because the link isn't going to send out that much. Hold up, I'll spam it real quick. There you go. Join it. Five minutes away to the very end of the dirt road. We have just arrived. And now we walk through the forest. Somehow we're going to carry all this stuff with us. Not sure how. These guys asked us what we're doing and they offered to help take our bags in because they know where the tribe is. We have food for them and everything. Okay, we walk. Dude, we are really about to walk straight through the forest. Look at this. Oh my god. Why do they have tall tree house? Something kind of Breaking about headline Drew Binsky mauled by a gorilla. <laughs> like that? Bro. He goes to a trap like I I wanna I'm waiting for a day that happens to a YouTuber. Like one of these travel YouTubers like genuinely goes out into like the Amazon rainforest and just gets like actually mauled. Like oh, like like there has to be a day that happens. Hey guys, today we're going into the Amazon rainforest. The, uh, like 30 minutes later, a gorilla is just like, and they're wearing a GoPro too. It's just fucking mauling them. Oh, try go away. Cannibal. Yes. So they have to be in my three house. And they hide, they hide house. They three house because it's like they, for them, safe. Says, yeah. If then they, they have three houses, like, you know, in low or in the under the tree, it's like easy to kill each other and they can kill. How do, okay. they, how do they kill humans? By. Really? But yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, that answered my question. Oh, that answered my question. They're not eating people like when they die. They're killing people and eating them. Yeah, Drew Binsky, I don't know about it. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be living through this one, man. Maybe somebody else is posting this for you. I hope they don't kill me, bro. Maybe I'll be glad to kill you. Did you kill me? No. <laughs> we trekked more than one hour through leech bro, infested- Bro, like, what's saying they don't kill him, though? Like, dead ass. Like, they just kill him and steal his shit. What is he gonna do? He's in the middle of Papua Island. I'm literally looking this up. A local cannibal cult in Papua Island has killed and ate victims recently documented as recently as late as 2012. In, in a war-based cannibalism. Holy shit. Like, I feel like that says 2012. Is that still now, though? See, this is 2012. I, I got to see when he meets them. I feel like they'll explain it more when he meets them. I got to stop asking questions. Unknown for the sub, Louie, for the sub. Did rain-soaked jungles to reach It's a tribe versus tribe? I don't know. Serious tribe. Ready. Thank you. I'm tired. <laughs> Carlos is a man. I didn't know I was going to meet him, but he's, he speaks English. And he knows what's going on. My new guide. All right. Which way? Oh, dead ass the second they get there. They string up Drew Binsky. <laughs> they put him on a rotisserie rack. Oh, God. That would be a <laughs> He has the GoPro on. He has the GoPro on. He's laying over the fire. All right, guys. It's not going as planned. They didn't, they didn't take to liking me. I really don't know how I'm going to get out of this situation. But as of right now, it looks like I'm in a bit of a pickle. 
<laughs> they they also they also are deciding to pickle me before they eat me. This is a bit of a pickle. Is that that was a cringe joke? That was a cringe joke. That was a bad joke. I don't know where I was taking that. Move on. That was a shitty joke. Eld me. It was good and then it was bad. It was good and then it was bad. You know, you have one. Every once in a while you have a shitty joke. Every once in a while you do. Catch for the sub. Every once in a while, you know, you just it just flows and then sometimes it doesn't. It happens. It happens. Is that them? Is that them? <laughs> Drew's getting fucking really? scared. What does that mean? It's a mean okay, we are coming. That's a giving you a symbol of the so this guy in he front just of us. Dome him. Oh my god. From like through the trees, he sees an arrow coming through. He's leading us the way, and the way that they're speaking to them is just screaming through the jungle. <laughs> oh, nah. Bro, if I'm him, I'm so nervous. If I'm him, I'm fucking shitting my pants. I'm about to be I'm about to be acting chill as fuck though. I'm gonna act like I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna be nonchalant as hell, but I'm gonna be nervous as fuck. Man. They're talking back. Yeah. Oh, he's so nervous. That moment of first contact is something I'll never forget. Woo! 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 Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they seem nice. See, I feel like there's a twist. I feel like they don't eat people anymore. I feel like this is this has to be some some type of clickbait. King for the sun. So when you meet the like this guy, you will say cotre, I cotre. I cotre. I cotre. Yeah, I cotre. I If you meet them with more people, you will say country. Yeah, country is more. He looks old. He looks old. To the map, man, you say no country. I came a long way to visit you yeah. from all the way from the other side of the world. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said he's probably like 23. Stop. Everything that I hear about, like when I Google yeah. the tribes here, yeah. they talk about life 30, 40 years ago, mm -hmm. you know? And they, they were eating people. So can I ask him about that? See this? So they don't anymore. They don't anymore. He did at one point. Uh, he was explained that uh, Momona tribe is never uh, eat people. But the people eat, kill and eat is Korowai tribe. I quickly came to find out that this is actually the Mamuna tribe, not the Korowai tribe. I was misled here by Martin, but I decided to stay because both tribes live in the same rainforest and they have very similar cultures and lifestyles. The Mamuna and the Korowai are sister tribes, but it's the Korowais who are the cannibals of the two. Nonetheless, I am here to learn all about their fascinating ways of life. There are roughly 3,000 members of the tribe and they live deep in the Papuan rain- Oh, they misled you, Drew. They misled you into the into the coincidentally the non-cannibal tribe drew maybe you just didn't want to go there maybe you just didn't want to fucking go to the cannibal tribe drew maybe you didn't go there that's clickbait he better pull up there later kratos for the three jibbities and poopy for the sub would you rather get kicked in the balls by a person of your choice or taste at 700 at your count what does that even mean Kicked in the balls by a person of your choice or tased at seven, 700? What do you mean? At your count, put the person is a troll and would do it randomly. Dude, you got to reword that shit. That's not even English. Rainforest. Modernization is slowly creeping in, which explains their cigarette addictions, but they still maintain traditions that date back over- Siggies? Siggies? Some Marlboro Reds? 10,000 years. <laughs> The first time this tribe laid eyes on a foreign human was just 35 years ago. Traditionally, the Mamuna live in tall, stilted treehouses scattered throughout the jungle to protect themselves from floods and animals. 
also to disrupt other clans from capturing its members for cannibalistic needs. Holy right away, shit. upon first interaction, I am thrown into a scene of the Mamuna preparing sago, a starch that is extracted from tropical palm trees only found here in the Papuan jungle. It is our primary source of nutrition. I, I really want to know, like, what does human taste like? But because they don't know. But the oh, white people leave. But, but Bro, that's the first question he asks. That's the first question he asks. Out of anything. Out of anything, bro, could have said. What? Nah, okay, well, this guy, I'm assuming this guy did take part in the cannibalism, but their tribe isn't anymore. The other tribe is. Bro, first question I'm asking, so, like, do you just, like, like, do you, like, you know, like, feel bad, like, when you would, like, you know, shoot a human in the face with an arrow and then eat them? Or, like, does it, then I would ask the, you know, what does it taste like? It's a valid question. He First question, he asked the wrong tribe. Like, like, pig, a uh, milk. It tastes like a male yeah, pig. Maybe. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. When you were younger, mm -hmm. were you scared of visiting other tribes and they would kill you? For why? Sama. Yeah, it's, 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 it's scary. It's scary to go visit to another people, another tribe. He's scared that yeah. they will kill him. Yeah. When you were younger, were you scared of other people eating you? He ever see the some people coming to kill, but yeah, he's scared. When he see, he's just scared about, about them. All right, let's talk about cannibalism. To most people, cannibalism is one of the most terrifying concepts imaginable. But for some tribe members of Papua Island, human flesh is a dish central to their culture, and it has been for thousands of years. While the Mamunas aren't the ones eating humans, their neighbors are. And Carlos told me some really fascinating things about the Korowai tribe. In Korowai, something like I, I took the one woman from another village, take her away, the another and that. And they talk to you. That's what makes it crazy, dude. Like, if you kill a cow, right, it's alive. You fucking murder it. Now it's dead. Yeah, but that whole, that whole process, it might moo. But, like, you grab a human, and they know that you're going to eat them. And they're like, oh, my God, please don't eat me. And you understand that they're saying that. And then you still kill them. And then you eat them. Knowing that whole time that they were terrified, knew they were going to get eaten, knew they were going to die, were pleading that you wouldn't kill me. Meek for the 300 bets. And the 1,000 biddies. I know this is all the money. Oh, hey, Joey boy, this is like all the money. So, you know, Joe, you're pretty epic mate. Thank you. And you don't have to give me your money. You are allowed to watch for free. Uh, I don't run mid-roll ads. I do run pre-roll ads on Twitch. I run mid-roll ads on YouTube. But you are not required to uh, pay me to watch. Uh, KJ for the Forge Biddies. I have four different saxophone reeds. Choose a number between one and four. Three. Who's one of the women? They will come and kill me and then eat. It's punishment. That's punishment. I learned that the Korowai don't eat humans for enjoyment or nutritional value. It's simply a form of punishment. Steal something, get burned over a fire, and eaten. More specific. Bro, motherfucker, you steal from a wall. Imagine that. Imagine that. You steal from a Walmart in the U.S. Most of the time, they don't even give a fuck. Now you steal from a fucking, like, gas station or a Walmart or some shit. They literally burn you and eat you as punishment. You can't even get away from the punishment. You're just dead, right? Like, a punishment is, like, slap on the wrists, at worst, jail, something like that. Right? Punishment, you're dead. They kill you. That's not even a punishment. You're just dead. Kratos for the 300 bets. Specifically, the Korowai believes that mysterious deaths like diseases are attributed to the Kakua, or evil demons who take on the human form. Kakuas are said to disguise themselves as friends or family members in an attempt to gain the trust of the tribe so they can later kill them. It is Korowai tradition to perform cannibalistic rituals on anyone believed to be a Kakua so they can protect the rest of its members. It is part- Oh, but that's like nearing witch trials, right? Because then you're killing people who you perceive as like- Kind of like demons trying to kill other people. But what if they're just a regular person? What if they're just a regular person? They're kind of weird. They're kind of weird, you know? They kind of look like a skinwalker. But they're like Mark Zuckerberg. Like, <laughs> like, like Mark Zuckerberg, right? 
a little off. Like he like he kind of has that stare that like he might be a lizard person. But you just kill them. Like like you you're not even gonna be like, oh yeah, no, we're gonna do a test of this. We're just gonna eat you. It just in case. Part of the revenge based justice system. It's actually pretty surprising how welcoming they are. I mean, they probably never get visitors or very rarely. And they've been pretty uh pretty welcome so far. What are you playing Valadent Val again? I played it like two days ago. You need to do a new wheel challenge. I'm not doing a new wheel challenge. That would just be me doing the same thing over and over again. Javon for the three. This will be uh Crazy Mr. Beast video. Hey guys, today I'm gonna see who can escape the cannibal tribe. Bro, if Mr. Beast went here, that'd be fucking nuts. Cause it's a whole different vibe, you know what I mean? Like Drew Binsky, it's like educational. With Mr. Beast. What's going on, guys? As you can see, they're literally roasting someone behind me. As you can see, they're literally turning somebody like a rotisserie chicken behind me. We're going to be trying it out. Whoever can eat the most gets $100,000. It looks like Chris. It looks like Chris over here has chosen the leg. Going for the left leg, he kind of likes it like a, kind of like a turkey leg. If he eats the most, looks like he's getting 100 grand. White for the sub. Why are they walking on the stick? Why don't they just walk on the ground? Oh, it's wet. This water is like three feet deep. If I fall, I'm f***ed right now. <laughs> yeah, if you fall, you're just so fucked right now, Drew. It's not like you're going to be a little bit wet. You're going to be so fucked. It's not like you're you're like yeah, literally with cannibals. Well, actually, he's not. He's with a non cannibal walk back to sing through the forest. Yo, don't this shit kind of look peaceful, though? Now, other than the cannibal, like, aspect of the video, like, if you're, you're just like, j imagine you lived here for a week. Like, no technology. Like, no, I want to do that one day. Like, I really want to do that one day. Just, like, go into the woods and just live for, like, like two, three weeks. It would be kind of scary because you'd have to, like, actually just survive. But it would be kind of cool, too. That was amazing. Kind of got these young kids just with an axe cutting down this tall tree. It's got to be 80 feet tall, this tree. Oh, Oh. It falls on Drew. Oh my god. It falls on him. It crushes him. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Look at this little kid chopping down this tree. How sweet. It just crushes him. It looks like, you know, now that it's dinner time, nobody's really eating and they're kind of covering me in this ceremonial syrup. It's like really sweet, you know? And there's this like really big fire going on, and they're like they're like covering me in this like, in this like what looks to be like almost seasoning, but they're telling me that it's like, it's like this ritualistic thing, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you that you know that's how he would act too, you know. They're covering me in this stuff, and they're telling me that like I'm a part of the tribe now, but like we haven't eaten dinner at all, and there's this really big fire, and they're like kind of crowded around me right now. I guess when all the kids run away, I should know to run away too. Dude, this tree is huge. It's half fallen already. Putting the final touches on it. You need help? Me? Alright, I'm gonna help him finish it off. <laughs> you ain't know how to swing an axe. Yeah! Yo! Man, if you grow up in the jungle, you get strong pretty quickly. Handling that axe at a young age. It's crazy how much they get from trees. The food, the shelter. Beds, everything comes from the tree. So this is campsite where they all hang out. Um, they've invited us to stay here. 
travel tip, always bring a head flashlight with you or a headlamp. For situations like this, you never know when it's going to come in handy. There's no electricity here, so you can see everything in front of me. It's, so, it's just such a different stress level, you know what I mean? Like, they're, like in life now, what are your stresses? Like, in, like, it, it, I mean, yeah, it's a third world, like, third world versus first world, but, like, in the U.S., your stresses are probably, I'm going to fail class. Uh, I need to get into college. Uh, I don't want to go to work. All this other shit. Here, you don't have those stresses. Your stresses are literally just like, I, I, we need to get food. Like, I'm going to die if we don't get food. It's a different level of, of like, anxiety or stress in life taxes yeah shit like that like it, it's just it's so different i want to experience it mr will for the sub at least for like a week white for the 340 bits less for the sub navy for the sub uh and black coat for the 300 bits somebody make sure logan paul doesn't visit there oh yeah cash for the 300 bits logan paul's a forest all over again stop uh all right i think i'm caught up we had brought with us a lot of food for the tribe and offered to cook stir fry and rice for everyone at night Home cooked food, rice, vegetables, chicken, onions. This is crazy. My stomach is so hungry right now. Mm. This is a sagu. Burn or in fire. Hey guys, so update. Hey guys, Drew Binsky here. Update. The food's not really going through me as well as I thought it would. And I've kind of been just shitting all over the floor the entire night. Uh, I've ran through all three pairs of clothes that I have, and now I'm wearing, now I'm wearing one of the other people's clothes here because, you know, it's just like, it's like a waterfall. I just keep shitting myself. Like, I literally, the food, I was so hungry. I ate so much of it. You know, it just flowed through me. I started drinking the water here, too. It's just not boding well with me right now. I think I'm dying. <laughs> Mr. Will for the thousand biddies. Good. Mm, that's good. Good taste. You want to try? Hey guys, I ran out of my Pepto Bismol, and it's not looking too good right now. I just it, my 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 asshole. I can't even you know I can't even hold it in. It's just it's just like water dripping down my leg at all times. Whoa, it's like bread, bro. It's actually really good. That kid's back in that shit. Oh my god. We're setting up our bed for the night right here. Basically just have a black mat, thin mat that we're laying down. Before I sleep, I'm putting my sock over my pants so the bugs will not get inside. I'm like hey guys, I'm doing the patent pending sock over the pants method. So when the shit starts running down my leg, it collects in my sock. No, that does make sense. Bugs would be a bugs would definitely be an issue, especially if you've never been there before. Every bug would be biting the living shit out of you. Good night, bro. Mr. Clean for the three hundred bits. This reminds me of when I went to Tanzania for two months for a mission trip with no technology. It was so much fun, bro. I bet. Also, why do bugs bite people that have never been there more than other people? Like when you visit a new country or a new place, bugs are attracted to you more than like people that live there why is that new blood no way it's just new blood morning bro i don't think i'm bit by so many bugs Bro, we still got to, this is reminding me, we still got to do a late night one day and watch all these videos I have fucking queued. I have all these videos, well, not all of them, but it's like five of them. I have like all these videos for late nights, like the Daz, the Daz survival one, a been alone in an African tribe, super duper, the magic school boss, all this other shit. Like I have so many fucking things that we got to watch. Tomorrow night? No. Seski for the sub, Mr. Well for the thousand biddies.
Nah, not tomorrow. Tomorrow, <gasps> no school. Ugh, tonight, I can't. Tonight, I literally can't. I start my college classes back up on Tuesday, but I won't be live. So I can't then either. Maybe Monday night. Probably not. Tomorrow, oh, yo, chat. Is it fine if I go tomorrow? If I go live tomorrow at 2 p.m., is that chill? Because nobody has school or most people don't have school. Is that fine? Because normal weekdays, normal weekdays, I go live at 4.30. But it's Martin Luther King Day tomorrow. Basically, everybody's off. I was going to go live at 2. We're doing Minecraft tomorrow. It's just Minecraft Day. I'll go live at 2 tomorrow. I'll go live at 2 tomorrow, and then Wednesday we'll be back on our 4.30 weekday, 2 p.m. weekend uh, schedule. Wolfman for the two gifteds. <gasps> oh. I smell bad. Why are you sleeping there? I'm getting cold. You're cold? Or this? Yes. Where's the toilet? It's up to you. Bro said, where's the toilet? Uh, hey guys, Drew Binsky here. So, I was just informed that there's no toilet on this island. Uh, and I have, uh, crippling hemorrhoids right now. So, this is gonna be pretty bad. Uh, I've also noticed that they don't have any toilet paper, so I'm going to be leaned up against a tree, wiping my ass with what looks to be leaves. Uh, but they're a little dried up. Zeno for the five gifted subs! Or is that ten? Wait. Is that five or ten? Zeno Corp for the fucking gifteds. How many, how many subs was that? That was ten gifted. Zeno Corp for the fucking ten gifties. Big dubs for that. Thank you, Zeno Corp 3, for the fucking ten gifted subs. Massive dub. Thank them if you got a sub, and thank you for the fucking 10 gifted. Some guy noble for the sub as well. Hey guys, second update here. Uh, just did my business. Found out that I just wiped my ass with poison ivy leaves. It's not looking too good for me. I really don't understand how I can have so many mosquito bites and spider bites if I was covering my body from head to toe. I'm telling you these bites on my body. Well, let's just hope it's not malaria. <laughs> Bro just said, let's hope it's not malaria. Bro, are you fu- Did you get a shot for that shit? This is a special moment. They've invited me in their house as they're cooking sago for breakfast. Sago? Yeah. What is that? Okay, thank you. Mm. <laughs> yo, he ain't like that shit. He, he did not. Yo, look at his face. He's trying to act like he likes it. It's kind of like bread with this really chewy texture. That is so interesting. It tastes good. It tastes kind of like... Hey, guys. Update here. Drew Binsky. Or, hey, guys. Drew Binsky. Update here. Uh, so, apparently, I'm allergic to what they call Sago. And uh, my face is swelling like a pumpkin. I... <laughs> I... Hey, guys. Drew Bins I'm done. I'm like done. Starch. But the texture is like... I've never had anything like this in my life. Dude, what is it? It looks like a potato. It's amazing how everything from the forest is used here. Wood, bamboo, fruit. Absolutely incredible. We're chilling here for breakfast and this guy just rolls up with a bow and arrow. The Mamunas started getting ready to embark on their morning hunt and I accepted their invitation to join them. What the fuck is Drew gonna do on this morning hunt? Oh shit, I gotta post. Hold up. Chat one or two.
Chat, one or two. Chat, chat, one or two. Mr. 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 Beast! That video just popped up on my For You page. Hold up. Posting. Looks like chat's going with two here. Posting, posting, posting. All right, we're good. Post in. Next. Oh my god, I'm scared, dude. <laughs> they have a really cool way of calling people in the jungle when they get lost. <laughs> like that. It's so That's fascinating. <laughs> this is really cool. So they're all hunting around me. They're hunting for worms, vegetables, mushrooms. Can I ask him about his... What he's wearing. Hey guys, Trubinsky here. They just handed me a mushroom and told me to eat it. Turns out it had psilocybin in it. I'm tripping balls right now. So this is the tail. To hey guys, Trubinsky here. Just ate what I thought was a regular portobello mushroom. Turns out it was psilocybin cubensis. I'm tripping balls right now. Be strong. Going <laughs> to size. He has to make walls with the uh, pen. Yes! Yes! Crazy. They scream. These people just scream. I don't know what's going on. It's, every time they scream, I get scared because they're all holding bow and arrows. Dude, this is so wild. It's crazy how you can just put your full trust in people without even knowing them. What are they looking for? Like, what are they hunting? Yeah, that water's probably cold as fuck. Nah, he really about to spear something? What is bro doing? If he catches a fish like that, I swear to fuck. Oh, he got it? <laughs> nice. Dude, that was fast. Have y'all ever tried to catch a fish? Like, in the water? No, I'm not talking, like, fishing. I'm talking, like, stab a fish with a spear. Like, it's impossible. It is the hardest fucking thing you will ever do. It's harder than catching a chicken, right? Not, 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 some, not some shit like that where they run away. Like, dude, they're fast. How the fuck did he do that? Pretty and he looks like he did it pretty slow. He and caught the fish. Some serious skill. Oh, wow. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> shrimp? Do you have shrimp in here? Yo, this shit's making me hungry, though. No lie. No lie, I would mac that shrimp. No lie, I would fuck. Yo, they cook up that shrimp. I'm eating that shit, no doubt. No doubt that's a big ass shrimp, bro. That would. Ooh! Bro said, ooh, stop. <laughs> stop. Oh. You're a bitch. Bro, I know. You think I ain't know that? Every time we watch a scary video, I hide behind my mic. You think I ain't know that? I suck at scary shit. Bro, anything that's a jump scare scares the fuck out of me. Oh. <laughs> now it's dead? She just ripped the head off? Bro, those are massive. It's in a matter of 15 minutes, they've caught two massive shrimp and two fish. And here comes another one.
Now this looks fun as fuck though. Like this looks fun. Like being able, like dead ass. Like yo, imagine you go with all your friends, and you don't bring. Okay, it could go pretty bad too. Imagine you go into the middle of the woods with your friends. You bring no food. You bring no food. You gotta actually get your food. It's not like some bro. And I, I know a lot of motherfuckers are gonna be like, oh, I've hunted before. That's different. Cause you, you were fucking in a camper or a tent or some shit. I mean, a tent's different, but like you fucking went home, right? Like I'm saying you stay out there for like a week. Somebody redeemed headset tent. Yeah, I think we would die. If I went with my friends in the middle of the woods, I would probably, we probably would not get food. Probably end pretty badly. I'd still want to try though. It'd be, it would be fun as fuck. Yeah. This is the face doubles from the, the jungle, the natural one. They went to the jungle, find face doubles. Hey guys, Drew Binsky here. Just drank what they told me was tea. Turns out it was ayahuasca, and I'm tripping balls right now. Turns out, turns out what they gave me was actually a mixture, uh, which creates ayahuasca. I'm seeing elephants running around right now. And then fish, hunting the fish, and they will mix Stop, up. Stop, they're not funny anymore? Bro, I don't care. I'll keep doing it then. I'll keep doing it, and it'll be so unfunny that it becomes funny again. This face double, mix up with the sagu, and the fish. Stop, it was funny the first time. Just fucking stop. Are you actually mad? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, look at this, man. Just fucking stop. It was funny the first time. Hey, guys, Drew Binsky. <laughs> Bro, is, why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? I'm Yeah, I'm redoing the joke, bro. It's funny as shit. I don't care. I know I'm redoing it. That's the whole point that I just keep doing it. I'm sorry you didn't like it. Little grumpers there. Uh, X Viper for the three inch biddies. First time donating. I've been watching for over two years now. Uh, wanted to say that I love the content. Also, would you ever make VIP channel point redemption? No. More in for the three inch biddies. Uh, it's earned. And uh, you could get theoretically pretty lucky on like 20 bets in a row and then just get VIP without ever chatting. Kratos for the 300 bets. How come you couldn't show your spear but show the machetes? That's a video. That's difference. That's the difference. Like if I showed my spear on stream, but if I was like stabbing Bob with it, that would be TOS. Wansi for the 300 bets. Have you ever seen Joe Weller's video in the Amazon? No, I have not. Is that interesting? They put, okay, sorry. You don't need to apologize. You're allowed to fucking say whatever you want in my chat in that regard. But I'm saying if you're going to say, if you're going to get all grumpy with me, I'm allowed to, you know, snap back. Inside. That's how the chat works. You can say you can say what you want outside of, like, slurs and racial shit. But, like, if you're going to say some dumb shit, or not, it wasn't even dumb. If you're going to say something that I disagree with, I'm allowed to fucking disagree with you. You know what I mean? That's how it works. They haven't even shot anything yet. Like, what are they looking for? In front of me, we have a kid with a machete. And behind me, we have a guy with a bow and arrow. Does he have one eye? Gotta be careful with that bow and arrow. I have him on watch at all times, like... As soon as he starts pointing that, I run away. I don't think he's gonna shoot me, but it's just, it's in the back of my mind. These women are warriors, just breaking down branches with their bare feet. Clearing the Drew's path. about to start wearing an orange vest to let him know not to kill him. When they draw their bow, I get really scared. He literally just cut down this tree and made a walkway over the, the deep swamp. If I fall, I got two cameras in my hands. For a self-reliant tribe not so far removed from cannibalism, what's the takeaway? Mine is simple. The Mamunas are just like me and you. They love, they hate, they laugh, and they cry. While one man may rise above the others as a leader, another may reserve a more spiritual role in society. To call this tribe uncivilized is downright incorrect. They foster relationships and value family in a way that is lost to our smartphones. So who's to say who is civilized or not? 
The Mamuna tribe hasn't had the advantage of cross-cultural pollination seen in Western societies, and therefore, they haven't benefited from the economical advantages. The best thing we can do as travelers is to respect their traditions and learn from them by applying their values to our daily lives. Facts, facts. That was a W video by Drew Binsky. Cappy for the sad, uh, nuts in for the 300 biddies. Yeah, no, that was a dub ed. I really actually enjoyed that. That was really cool. That actually was really cool. We don't, yo, do you guys like those videos? I'm down to watch way more of those in the future. Cause I actually like, those are like the late night esque videos, like the big documentary based things. Like they're educational, but I usually just make fun of a lot of shit. So then it's like funny, but yeah, like, no, that's like these videos. I mean, the Daz one's already supposed to be funny, but like these vids will be pretty cool. Yeah, no, I fucking love those. That was a long one. That one was a little long, but I'm with it. Well, that's the point of like a late night. Like when I do late nights, I've, I'll just watch like an hour long video like one hour long video and we'll just we'll just literally watch it till it's done and then i'll end poopy for the 300 videos hey everybody J drew binsky here they gave me this drink and said it will cleanse my body turned out it was battery acid my insides are disintegrating they wouldn't have battery acid right that's unrealistic they could theoretically make like they could find like mushrooms or something that was psychedelic kali for the sub uh all right i gotta go pee real quick before we go to the next vid we still have we have one more regular video uh, of the levels of wealth inside the secret lives of the ultra rich. Uh, and then we're going to watch a few scary videos. Uh, hold up. Don't fuck with me. Yo, why the fuck? Uh, is this my, is this my funk playlist? This is not even my funk playlist. I was going to say, what the fuck is this? Whatever. Coming down 30 Y'all ready for the next video? Levels of wealth inside the lives, the secret lives of the ultra rich. If you earned $1. Oh God, he already has such a soothing voice. Per second, then to make $1 million would take you about 11 and a half days. But to make $1 billion, would take you over 31 and a half years. You see, it's easy to think of wealth in terms of rich or poor, but broadly speaking, there are arguably five different levels of rich. And at each level, things well, change. Well, yeah, that, that's actually facts though. People always like group the top 1% together in the United States specifically. But realistically, the top like, the top 1% of people in the United States might varyingly make $500,000 a year to $50 million a year or more, right? Like that is insanely different. They're both very wealthy. Most people that make that amount of money can do anything they want, right? But 500K versus $50 million gets you very fucking different things, right? Like you still have to save money if you're making 500K a year. Like you can't just go around buying Lamborghinis. But if you make 50 mil a year, you could damn near do anything you want. Like, how much money do y'all think you would need to never work a day in your life? You're never investing the money again. You're never going to invest it, right? You just get that lump sum of money and you'll use it until you die. And when you die, you'll have zero dollars. You'll have zero dollars when you die. You'll still spend the money responsibly, but to the point where you could do anything that you want. However much money you want, specifically. 
I would say most, most realistically, you could live off of two million. Starting at a young age, if you, if you're, if you are given two million dollars at twenty years old, you could make that last the rest of your life. You're not going to be able to live for, like you're going to have to live uh, very tightly, right? Because like you're going to be spending like forty, fifty k a year every year, right? But over the course of your life, it will last that length. But if you want to actually buy whatever you want, realistically, you need like ten. The the actual goal ten, not nah, ten, five, five. If you had five million dollars at twenty years old, which is like what I am, you could you could probably spend like a lot of shit on what you want, but you would you would still have to not be able to like splurge to the, to the point where you would buy like a yacht. Like even that's that's what I mean. That's the difference between the wealths is the fact that there are people that are rich and can buy what they want, and then there's people that are rich and can buy anything. Like that's not even billionaire money. You could realistically have that making like fifty million. Hot boy for the 300 bets. First time donating. Weren't you in a Mr. Beast vid? When does that come out? In like two weeks, it comes out. Change up very drastically. The difference between... The, the, the most common conception... I heard a lot of people talk about this, specifically in college and like business classes. If you have $4 million, you're set. If you somehow amount $4 million and you invest it, you will never need to work a day in your life again and you'll still be making a wealthy income off of dividends. Because averagely, if you, if you invest $4 million, you'll make $400,000 a year off of that, which you can just spend in whichever way you want. And then you'll never need to work again. Between what Unless I'm the stock market crashes. <laughs> and then you lose everything. A billionaire can do and a billionaire can do is simply staggering. In this video, we'll be exploring what life is like at each of these different wealth levels and delving into how the ultra rich spend their money including some of the most bizarre and extravagant purchases you've ever heard of. Yo, do I pop a G fuel? I gotta put more in my fridge. I'm like running out of them. I have more. I just literally have to go restock it. We're gonna do the Crash Bandicoot today. Had this one before. Wumpa Fruit, as per usual. Code Joe B, 20% off. But as you're watching, you'll realize that one of the biggest changes that happens at each of these wealth levels is perspective. Rainy for the sub. Because prices feel relative to how much you earn. So uh, uh, yeah. Yes and no, right? Prices feel relative to how much you make. That's true. How much you value money doesn't really change. How much you value money is what it is at birth, right? Like if you're born a, a multi-millionaire, how you value money is going to be less comparable to somebody that wasn't rich and then got even more rich than you, right? Because like I make good money on social media, but I still value $20 as $20, right? Like when I lose 20 bucks, I'm upset. I don't need the $20 to the effect that like, Oh my God, when I was in high school and I had $20, like I actually needed that to fucking buy Wawa or some shit. Like, yeah, I could buy my own food. It's still your, your, how you perceive money's value is the same, but the perspective on how, how much something actually costs might change a little bit. Relative to how much. I would say it is relative. Yeah. To a degree. But you earn. So if you compare someone who's earning 40,000 a year. What is Wawa? It's like a gas station. With someone earning four, it's in the Northeast. 400 million a year, it's 10,000 times more. Which means a Lambo that costs $300,000 to them is the equivalent of spending $30. That's not A $10 million piece of art feels like $1,000. A $50 million home in the Hamptons feels more like $5,000. That was one of the only things that Andrew Tate talked about that genuinely was like, like I, 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 it was, it was a video he made on the perspective of money. And it was one of the only videos that I was like, wow, like everything he said wasn't crazy. Like, like he literally said that when he goes to a restaurant, he just buys the most expensive shit there is. And it doesn't phase him. He, he doesn't enjoy food as much as he used to. He doesn't enjoy anything as much as he used to. Cause there's no need to earn it. Right. Like when you're, when you're sitting there, and you're working months on end to take a good vacation, that vacation is very valuable to you, right? But if you're a multi-millionaire, 
and you can vacation anytime you want, it's no longer as good. It's still fun, but it's not as good as it was because you didn't have to wait to earn it. It's not something that's a buildup. You can just buy anything you want. So how much something actually is valued is much less. So whilst to us, each of those purchases would feel so major, to a billionaire, it's not even something they'd really need to think about. And of course, when you're that wealthy, it's not just items and experiences that you can buy, but we'll get to that. Let's instead start off with the first level of rich. One of the best movies ever. I like that he's adding this movie clip, by the way, the platform. I've watched it like 15 times. It's originally in Spanish. They dub it in English. It's a very good movie. Watch it. The top one. Very good movie. Percent. Even though this phrase is synonymous with being. Yeah, I feel like I, I'm actually going to Google this real quick. To be in the top 1% of earners in the United States, you need to make $401,622 per year. See, like, that's wealthy, but then people always group 1% into that. But there's people that are in the top 1% making 400 k and $400 million. Like, it's, it's varying drastically. Because it's like the 0.1% versus the 1%. Extremely rich. If your income is over about $200,000 a year, you would technically be part of the top 1% of worldwide earners. Worldwide, and so yeah. being in the top 1% may not make you feel quite as rich as you would think. Because sure, you can typically afford a nice house and car, but with those things comes higher costs. And so you probably don't feel very financially- Well, it's actually after, after 65K a year, Whatever you earn won't improve your quality of life, generally. D unless you live in, like, a, if you live in the United States and you're not living in, like, a big city like New York, if you live in, like, a rural area, if you make 65 k a year, your quality of life will not be improved if you make more than that. It'll be shit you want. You know what I mean? If you make 65 k a year, you can have a decent home, you can eat well, you can have time off, you can take vacations every year, you can do all of those things, right? The more money past that is having a second car, going on vacation more, having higher quality organic food, being able to do that, having a nicer house, having nicer things. Once you, if you, somebody said, I disagree, you can disagree, but if you make 65 individually, if you're an American making $65,000 a year, you can live comfortably forever making that amount of money unless interest rates obviously go up, which they will. But right now, if, we, if it froze in the interest rates and inflation didn't change, right, that would be, that would change the game a little bit. But the average American makes $35,000 a year or median. Average makes 52. Uh, but that's skewed by the mega rich, right? Median American makes, middle American makes $35,000 a year. If you're making double that, you're well off. Secure. And you're not you're rich if you're making 60k a year, but you're well off. You're like middle class. Likely still working a full-time job. Not financial advice. I mean, I don't even have to say this is not financial advice because it's not even financial advice. I'm just talking about average American salaries. Rainy for the sub. C Ben for the three-inch bets. I want to say I love watching your content. Appreciate you taking the time out of your day for us. Big dubs. Thank you. Which for the is bets. why beyond this level, wealth starts to be measured in net worth rather than income. Because the more wealth you have, the more assets you have. And you're probably not making your money from a normal salary. So the next level of rich is a net worth of $10 million to $30 million. At this level, your needs are met. You can live very comfortably. You have a really nice house. You often fly first class internationally. Never if flying first class. Saying that right now, bitch. Never fly. I don't give a fuck if I made $40 million, bro. <clears throat> never fly. I'm going from, yo, these are the two options. I'm flying coach or I'm flying on a private jet. There's no in between. First class is a waste of fucking money. Four or five times the price of a regular seat for a fucking, I don't know, four more inches of space. And then they're going to fucking wait on me, right? Not worth it. If it's a special occasion, you might book a $2,000 suite. You can afford any health care you need. And in fact, no emergency financial situation can destroy your life. And yet, you're still not rich in the way that money doesn't matter. 
you still have to be sensible and careful when it comes to big decisions. Exactly. And in the banking world, you're still not classified as having an ultra high net worth. The bank? Yo, the bank doesn't classify you as an ultra high net worth. You have $30 million. The bank doesn't care. Oh my God. What is ultra high net worth? Hundreds? Red for the sub. Which brings us to our next level. A net worth of $30 million oh. to $100 million. Yo, chat, what is filthy rich? How net worth? Filthy rich, not salary. Let's do that. for. Let's do net worth first. Filthy rich. You're fucking rich. You can buy anything. I would say $40 million. If you have $40 million, you're filthy fucking rich. You can buy anything you want. And not, not yeah, you can't buy a mega yacht. But, like, bro, come on. Like, now you're mitigating, like, three things. You have $40 million, bro. You can travel. Or you could literally never work again a day in your life. Travel every week for the rest of your life till you died. From, for 40 years. 40 years straight, you could do that. And still have a fucking shitload of money left. Now let's do salary. What's filthy rich salary? I would say five mil a year. If you make five, you're rich if you make, if you make 400K. I would say 300K, actually. If you make 300K a year, you're rich. I would say you're rich. You make good-ass money, right? But, like, filthy rich, five mil. Five mil a year, you're, you don't, money does not matter. Five mil a year, money does not matter in any way. You just spend money whenever you feel like spending money. You, you still work, right, because you need to make that money. You need to maintain that. But money doesn't matter as much as it used to anymore. You can literally just do anything you want. Suki for the sub. So, Joe, are you rich? I would say I make the equivalent, not filthy rich, fuck now. I, I would say I make what would be classified as a rich salary, yes. I make good money. I've showed you guys my social blade. Like, I don't hide that from my audience. Like, I make good money on social media, specifically YouTube, uh, comparable to Twitch or TikTok. Like, TikTok, I make, like, fucking dirt money uh, for how many followers I have. I make good money on TikTok still, but, like, for 21 million followers on TikTok, dude, if I had 21 mil on YouTube, I'd be making Markiplier money. I'm not making Markiplier money on fucking TikTok. Like, 21 million followers. Like, dude, literally, I make it from most to least YouTube, Twitch, TikTok. I make the least on TikTok, even with ads. Even with ads now. Because my YouTube, I have like a mil on YouTube. At this point, you start playing in the big leagues. And most likely, you... I'm shocked you make more on YouTube than Twitch. Dude, mid-roll ads pay. Mid-roll ads pay. In most... You, even big Twitch streamers, their YouTube accounts probably make more. YouTube pays drastically more than Twitch on like any amount. Run or have a controlling interest in a very large company. You always stay at five. Don't star. you make five million a year, buddy? No. <laughs> five million a year? You think I make five mil a year? I wish. No. I make good money, not five mil. Our hotels. And you have multiple residences all around the world that you can stay in as well. Would you ever make a video if you were doing poor financially? No. I would never ask my viewers for money if I was doing poorly financially. I feel like that's whack. You take holidays during prime time. For example, going to Monaco for the Grand Prix. Or How much do you think Kai Sinat makes on Twitch or in general? On Twitch, a year? I mean, he has like 65,000 subs. Like, let's just do... Let's just do rough math for Kai's. Kai Sinat has 67,000 subs a month on a base Twitch sub split because that's what everybody's on right now. Kai Sinat makes at least $167,000 a month from subs alone, from Twitch subs alone, which would be $2 million a year from Twitch subs plus bits and ads in his mineral ads. I would say realistically, Kai probably makes five million a year on on Twitch, and probably the equivalent on YouTube. I could literally just look up his social blade. Oh, oh well, he doesn't post on YouTube as much as he used to. It says three hundred K on YouTube. I would realistically say Kai probably makes like five or six mil a year, maybe like maybe like seven with ads. I would say it's the same for Aiden, Hassan, all of them. I would say they make like. Like, the biggest Twitch streamers, like, X XQC probably makes, like, 10 mil a year. I would say Hassan probably makes eight. Aiden probably makes, like, six six to eight. He Aiden, Aiden had, used to have a big fucking gambling sponsor, too, so even more than that. Aiden, when he was on that, that uh, steak shit, was probably making, like, 20. Florida for the sub.
They make a lot. I mean, they also get taxed a lot because they live in LA. They lose probably half of their income a year, but still, half of five mil is 2.5. And for the film festival. And you won't bat an eyelid when the place you're staying at costs- Also for the fiverr's bets, what do you get taxed on Twitch for donations and bets? Just federal tax. I mean, like, twi like bits, I get one cent per bit. Subs, I get $2.5 per sub. So if you send me a $5 sub, I get half of that. From that half, I get taxed 39% federally, and then whatever my New Jersey state taxes are. Around, like, like per year, I probably get taxed, like, like almost half. Um, Just around there. I think California can actually be more. New Jersey... New Jersey, New York, and California have the highest state taxes, I think. I don't know. Ten. Let me Google that. California, Hawaii, New Jersey, Oregon, Minnesota. Yeah, New Jersey's 10.75%. California's 13.3%. So you tax that on to the federal, too. So if you live in California, like Hassan would, or XQC, they're getting taxed 39% federally, 13.3% state. So add those two together. They're getting taxed. They get, they take, they keep 48% of their income. The government takes what, 52? The government takes 52% of their income. They keep 48. A lot of people are going to say, oh my God, that's fucking insane. Yeah, but they're also making millions of dollars a year. And I, like I'm in the same scenario. I'm getting taxed a lot, but I make good money. I'm not going to bitch about it. To $20,000 per night. Still a shit ton of money, yeah. You have personal assistance and are starting to have people that others have to talk to to get to you. You can buy pretty much anything that normal people think of as stuff rich people buy. We like have over 50% in Sweden. Yeah, the Nordic countries have a lot. Uh, I did a whole presentation on that in college. There's some Nordic countries that can tax up to 60. The highest you can be taxed in the US is if you live in California, I think you can get taxed like 54. I think 54% is the highest ever accumulating federal and state together. Like you can buy any cars you want, the fanciest jewelry, and so on. Instead of flying first class, you'd fly privates. Although, having said that, you typically charter a flight or own a private jet fractionally through a service like NetJets, instead of buying it outright and having to maintain it. But still, at this level, another big change that happens is your social circle. You probably start socializing with congressmen, senators, and community leaders. No. You're likely if I ever got that rich, I would never I would never be friends with a fu with a, like the mayor. Get the fuck out of here. Congressman? Yeah, bro. It, yo, if I was that if I was ever that rich that congressmen came to me to sponsor them, I would dead ass tell them to go fuck themselves. I would be like, "Yeah, I don't care what political party you're a part of. If you're trying to get if you're trying to get me to give you money to promote your dumbass fucking political party, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not doing that shit. No. The only and that's and that's what's whack. That's what's whack about the government. Because no, political parties, yo, I'm going to have some conspiracy shit here, right? Like everybody knows where I stand politically. I don't give a fuck where you stand politically, right? I get along with my chat. I have friends all over the political spectrum, right? But, like, if you're sitting here and you're going to fucking be a hundred millionaire, right, they can do anything they want because the people, the people that are in office get money from them to get elected. So they, in turn, help them. If you have a hundred million dollars, you literally control the government because you control who gets elected because you back them. If you're a backer of somebody getting elected, that shit's fucking crazy because they repay you and then you back them again and then they repay you again. And it's just an infinite cycle. If you're worth more than $100 million, you can literally get away with anything. Literally anything. Because you're so fucking rich, you literally control the people in office. It's crazy. Awesome for the five bets. What do you get taxed on? Oh, I, already, I literally just read that. Bro, I reread Dono so much. Very well respected within some I don't think it's to the point where like oh my god Jeff Bezos is like a may like like fucking controlling the government like they're puppets, right? Like I, I don't think he has that much control. But like when you're that rich, you you've you have people that find every loophole for you, you back political parties, you can do anything you fucking want. Anything. It's past it's past buying shit. You have power. When you have that much money, you have power very high class circles interestingly though since you're likely surrounded by other ultra wealthy people you may start to feel you don't have enough sure you may have andrew tate is worth over 300 million dollars and he went to jail 
Yeah, but is he still in jail? I don't even know what's going on there. And, and dude, look at historic fucking rich people shit. When, when rich people, like, who's that dude from FTX that literally was, that literally was going to go to prison, went to jail for, like, a week, had this, like, cushy cell, was, like, not with any of the other prisoners, was, like, uh, like in his own little block cell with, like, nice bedding, and he had a TV. Yeah, Sam Bankman freed, and he got bail and all this other shit. Bro, they get out of that. They have the best lawyers ever. If you have the best lawyers ever, they find loopholes. It don't matter. You've just bought a new Ferrari, but your friend has a limited edition version where only five or ever He was out in like two weeks. Yeah, and when it comes down to it, he'll probably be on like, he'll probably be on home arrest for like five years. He'll, he'll probably get out on home arrest for five years, even though he stole fucking $5 billion from, from Americans and other people across the world. He'll probably be on home ar house arrest for like five years. And he'll just buy a nice mansion and live there. Like, that's, like, dead ass, bro. Like, when you're that rich. Made. And, sure, you had dinner with a local governor, but your billionaire friend just had dinner with the president. Even at this level, people are still looking above them. Which brings us to our next level of wealth. A hundred million dollars to a billion dollars net worth. To be at this level, you likely have ownership or control of a business that most of the public have heard of, even if they haven't heard of you directly. At this point, you can likely socialize with movie stars, rock stars, and the corporate elites. You can go pretty much anywhere you want and always in style. You have multiple residences with staff all over the world with elite cars at every residence. If it's your thing, you might have a private island. And of course, a private yacht. Oh, that's the first thing that I'm buying. I said that shit, chat. Yo, if you won the Mega Millions right now, I think somebody already won that shit. Two billion dollars, 1.6 billion dollars. First thing I'm buying as a private island. I'm pulling, yo, I'm literally, yo, first thing I'm doing, $200 million island, I'm fucking buying that shit. Why? Because then you have your own island. You literally own, like, your own little country. You just fucking live there. That's nuts. Scarcore for the three inch bets. In your opinion, do you think Andrew Carnegie was heroic? Uh, the, the dude, the steel guy? Do I think he was heroic? No. What do you mean? Are you, you're talking about the SEAL guy, right? To get you there. Almost any experience you can dream up, you can have. Yo, first thing you're buying, chat. You win You win a billion dollars. First thing you're buying. Billion dollars post-tax. Because in the Mega Millions, Mega Millions, you get $1.3 billion post-tax, post-lump sum. You're probably going to have like 500 mil, 400 mil. Still, first thing you're buying. I would probably buy an island a jet and then i would i i would probably i would probably buy an island a jet a car i would donate like 150 mil invest the rest and then just live on the island for the rest of my life and i would do reactions once a week <laughs> i would still do reactions i don't give a fuck people asked me that before if you won the lottery would you still do social media yeah probably not tiktok i would probably do i'd probably do twitch and youtube for sure i love twitch and youtube Want to play tennis with your favorite star? Call his people. For a donation of 100000 or more to his charity, you can probably play a match with him. Why even invest it? Because, dude, if you, if you have $400 million to invest, you will be more rich 10 years from then, even spending the money. The more money you have to invest, the more money you can make. Drastically. Drastically. You invest $400 million 10 years from then, you're going to have fucking five fifty. You're going to be rich as shit. Want your favorite band to come and play at your private party? Well, for the right price, they probably will. What about if you love art? Your people could arrange... Yeah, never cure... buy an art. Never buy an art. Never buy an art. I'll buy a Funko Pop. I don't give a shit about that. Now, you, you're bugging if you think I'm buying a $10 million art piece from some dude that's going to tell me the interpretation or some dumb shit. Don't care. Art is a tax write-off. Art's a tax write-off. That's what it is. Why do rich people buy art? Why do rich people buy art so much? It's a fucking tax write-off. Literally, dude, there's like blank canvases that literally have nothing on them. Or like some dude like, what, what did some, some dude like nailed a banana to a board and sold it for like, sold it for like a million dollars. Who the fuck bought that? Some rich ass motherfucker. $400 million fucking net worth. Why the hell did they buy that? Tax write-off. ZRL for the 300 bets. Hey, Joe, me and my family are stranded in the Sahara Desert and deeply hydrated. I already know this is going to be a G Fuel shout-out. Yep. 
Could we get some G Fuel at a discounted price? Oh, for sure. 20% off. Code Joe B. Juicy from 300 Bets. Who's your favorite rapper? I don't really have one. Operator at the Louvre to show you around and show watch you. Watch the KSI fight. Yo, do we watch a clip of it after this? Some masterpieces. They have I don't know if I'm allowed to yet. It's pretty close. Did I hear code Nick A30? No, you did not. You heard code Joe B, right? This is a Joe B G Fuel chat, right? This is not a Nick A30 chat. This is code Joe B, right? Exhibited in years. If you can dream an experience up, you can likely have it. Donations and fees can get you to anyone. And once you have many hundreds of millions of dollars, it's the same when it comes to buying things. You may hire people specifically to find you the most extravagant versions of items you can think of. For example, the Australian company Toilet Paper Man produces 22 karat gold toilet paper for a cost of over 1.3 million. And if you are going to quite literally flush money down the toilet, why not get a gold toilet or an entire gold bathroom to go with it? In fact, if you're ultra wealthy, you can literally have gold everything. How about a 24 karat gold water bottle, which in itself is a piece of designer art and comes with spring water from France and Fiji. Oh my God, give me a bottle of Poland spring. I don't give a fuck about that dumbass water. Get the fuck out of here. First thing I'm, yo, dead ass. I'm re hey, yo, you give me, you hand me fucking a billion bucks right now. I'm going to hire the best nutritionist alive. I'm going to say, I want to eat some fire ass food and I want it to be healthy. They're going to give me a plan. I'm going to buy all that food. I'm going to hire a chef. They're going to make me that fucking food. That's exactly what I'm doing. I don't give a shit about no damn water bottle or something. You give me a paper plate to fucking eat off of. I don't give a fuck. I just want to eat some good ass food. Combined with glacier water from Iceland. Don't care. Or alternatively, how about the world's most expensive iPhone? Yeah, that dumbass shit that Messi bought. A gold-plated iPhone. We watched a video about that. That has 24 karat gold casing. Stupid as shit. Why would I ever want that? More than 600. More stealable. Now your phone's even more stealable. Congratulations. Now people want to steal your watch. Or not your watch, your phone. 100 white and black diamonds. Plus sapphire glass for the screen. This obviously isn't available to the general public. To buy one, you're going to need over $15 million. But this is the key. Uh, then you got to buy one every fucking few years. This level is not just about buying the fanciest. I don't think they got a turn in policy for that one. I don't think they got an upgrade policy for the fucking $15 million gold iPhone 8. Now, now you're on. Now you got to buy the fucking new 14 version. You just got to get a new one. Most luxurious items, it's about getting the rarest and most exclusive things you possibly can. For example, you could get a limited edition pen that costs $160,000. Dumb as shit. I'm buying a house in Switzerland on, the, on, on stilts, and I would sit there and I would write, I would write a memoir. <laughs> Yo, I win the lottery. I win the lottery. Bro, Switzerland. Go in there, buying a house on stilts. I'm li every day, I'm going to just sit on my porch, I'm going to overlook the mountains, and I'm going to write my thoughts. That's all I'm doing, bro. I'm going to be the new Friedrich fucking Nietzsche, bitch. I, I don't care about no damn pen. Give me a Bic pen. Has fucking 160K. I don't need no diamonds on my shit. I'm going to lose that. I'm going to lose the pen. When I lose the pen, then I'm going to be fucking skitzing out because I lost a fucking $2 million pen. 4,810 diamonds inside, and only eight are made each year. Or if you want to go a lot bigger than that. Many billionaires turn to art. No. And not just rare paintings, but things like this dead I'm buying pirate treasure. I'm buying pirate treasure. That's what I'm getting. Buying a shipwreck coin. I'm about to have the new I'm I'm gonna have I'm gonna have literally a pirate's chest with fucking gold from from five hundred years ago. Dark art piece created by Damien Hirst that sold for twelve million dollars. Yeah, that shark looks dumb as fuck. Why that shark look like that? Why does a shark look like that? It looks wrinkly as shit. Created by Damien Hirst that sold for twelve million dollars. Or let's say you like piano. Well, here's the same crystal piano that was used for the Beijing Olympic Games that was purchased at a private auction for a record three point two million dollars. You see, when you're at this wealth level. Your mind is the only real limit to what is available. I'm buying a state. What state would I buy? You don't have enough money to buy a state. How much money would it cost to buy Maine? 
Like, what's like, what's like a state nobody really cares about? North Dakota. But then we have our final level. The one billion net worth and above. Wyoming? Wyoming! Dude, Wyoming property? Dude, my friend, every day. Every day. Every day, he, he talks about he's, he's going to be rich one day and buy, buy property in Wyoming. I'm like, why? He's like, she shows me this website. 5,000 acres in Wyoming is like, like 9 million bucks or something like that. $9 million is a lot of money. 5,000 acres? That's massive. Like, you would, you would have to be in a plane to see your whole fucking property. Now, before we get into what you can do as a billionaire, which honestly is pretty insane, it's worth noting that the number of billionaires on Forbes' annual rich list has significantly increased in recent years. And there's now around 2,755 known billionaires. Is Tyler Perry a fucking billionaire? Do not tell me Tyler Perry's a fucking... Medea is a... No. Tyler Perry's worth a billion dollars. Oh my God. Since when? Since I'm literally going on the Forbes, Forbes rich, richest people list. Literally, dude. I feel like half of these people are like not even known. Like, no, I feel like most of these people nobody even knows of. Uh. Like literally, I'm, I'm going to go down the list. Yo, chat, we're going to go down the list until we don't know somebody. Bernard, or I, I've heard of this family. We're going to keep... I don't know who this is. Gotem Adani. Infrastructure. Don't know who this is. Don't know who this is. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Larry Page owns Google. Didn't even know that was his fucking name. Steve Ballmer. Microsoft. Yeah. Michael Bloomberg. Dude, let's go to, like... Let's go to, like, the poor billionaires. Let's go look at, like... Let's go look at the people that are worth, like, one bill. Wow, there's a lot of people worth six billion dollars. Dude, how many billionaires are there? I thought there was only like a hundred. Holy shit, and they're all old as fuck. Oh my god. Dude. There's over a thousand billionaires worth over three billion dollars. I thought if you had a billion dollars, you were top I thought you were top one thousand. Dude, what the fuck? It just keeps going. There's this many billionaires? Wow, it's not even special to be a billionaire anymore. Holy fuck. Dude, it's just gonna, it's, I'm not even going to scroll. I'm, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. 1.7 bill. It's going to keep going. The, how many billionaires are there? There's like fucking thousands. Look at this dude. Who is this? David Booth. Bro, bro some random dude. Casually worth $1.7 billion in mutual funds. He's 77. My God. Steven Wynn. They're all old as shit. They're all old as fuck. Dude, let me find like a 20-year-old. Yo, Mix for the 10 gifted subs. Mix tie for the 10 fucking gifties. Big dubs for that. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted subs. There's somebody that's 49. Dude, they're all so old. My God, and that money's gonna go to their fucking family. 53. 57. Mixed high for the 10 gifteds, though. Big dubs for that. 47. Diversified. What does that even mean? Private equity. Egon Durbin. This person's 40. You can't even see their, you can't even see their profile picture. Mixed high. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds, though. Big dubs for that, actually. Uh, Doggo, Universe for the sub. Tayo for the 3 bets. Can you play the bomb defuse game, but chat reads the manual and helps you? How would chat read the manual? ZRL for the 300 bits. That makes no sense. How would my chat read the manual? It'd be delayed. And I would have to, I would still see the manual if I was doing it. Me and my family are straight. Oh, I already read that. Mixed high though. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Wow, there's a lot of billionaires. I literally did not know that. Wow, we're only halfway through this. I gotta stop pausing. Of course, it's possible there are more who have generational wealth that simply do a good job of staying very, very private. But either way, Forbes have estimated these 2,755 billionaires are worth a combined $13.1 trillion and therefore have more wealth between them than the poorest 5 billion people on earth combined. Wow. 
These statistics are overwhelming. Poor, but poor, poor is five billion. There's only eight billion people in the world. Over half of the world combined is less rich than 2,700 people. What? Let's actually visualize it to put things in perspective. This rice example really highlights that even within this billionaire category, the difference between 1 billion and the kind of wealth Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk have is insanely vast. I'm also a big fan of James Janney's YouTube channel, and he did a great job of visualizing the difference between these large sums of money in a different way. So, after seeing these examples, we've now got a better idea. Somebody said, all right, it's, start, it's time to start day trading. It's time to start money laundering. Of the scale of a... Looks like I'm going to be the next Walter White. Manifest redeemed rate of choice. Kevin for the sub. Billion dollars. So now let's look... Jack for the sub. ...at what you can actually do with it. Because essentially, you can buy anything. And I do mean any... Next tie for the five gifteds as well. Thank you for the fucking 15 gifted total next tie. Big dubs for that. Thank next tie if you got a seven. Thank you for the fucking five gifteds. Thing. We're no longer talking about luxurious items and experiences. Firstly, you can buy access. You can ask your staff to contact almost anyone on the planet and get a call back. It's amazing the level of access and respect a billion can get you. Where, within an hour, you could ask your people to get in touch with someone and they'd be able to do it. And I'm not just talking about contacting celebrities. It works the same with powerful people within politics as well. Oh my Respect god, I'm calling the president. Every day. Every day, dude. I'm just gonna start calling world leaders. Just start having a conversation with them. My god. You give me a billion bucks, bro? Alright. Call, uh, call the leader of, uh... Let's do Latvia today. Just have a conversation with them. It's for the sub swag and for the sub low for the three inch bets. Assuming you'll live for 100 years, would you trade 40 years of your lifespan for $500 million? No. I would never trade I would never trade any amount of my life for money. Uh, if Like you're saying, if I just jumped 40 years in the future? No. If you gave me $500 million, I have to cut 40 years off my life. So I jumped to the age of 60. No. Especially because the billionaire may well be a donor to their political party. And so if you're a billionaire... You may occasionally meet with the heads of states and have conversations with them. Which brings us to the second thing a billion dollars can buy. Influence. As a billionaire, you have many ways to shape public policy and the public debate. And this isn't always done in some kind of evil way. Bro, like you could bot so many followers. <laughs> you have a billion bucks. You remember those you remember those websites that people used to think about? You everybody had that one friend. That went on one of those Instagram websites and bought a thousand followers for like thirty dollars or some shit, dude. You could buy so many followers, bro. You could be you could be like the the most followed person. Lobbying for lower taxes for rich people, although obviously that does happen. But the simple fact is, because of your wealth and connections, you can absolutely influence big changes in the world, and not just on a political level. Because another thing you can buy is impact through philanthropy and charity. Your money can literally change countless lives. The question is, how do you distribute it? Clean water for villages? Fund new hospitals? Try to save a dying species of animal? With money- Damn, I ain't think about that. Like, I donate money now, but I just donate to charities. But if you have a billion dollars, you're not just donating like 100 million to St. Jude. You could, like, start your own charity. I don't know what I would do. Mix for the 400 bets. What would, you, what would you want to be... Wait, who would you want to be one of your best friends if you were a billionaire? Well, I wouldn't want to pay for somebody to be my friend. You're saying if I could have any friend in the world, who would it be? Let Just not even in the money question? Look for the 300 bets. I meant, like, you'll die at the age of 60, not jump to the age of 60. No, I wouldn't want to do that. Cold for the sub. I feel like that would suck. I would still, if, if you could guarantee, somebody said this video is boring as shit. <sighs> leave, 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 leave. Bye. Oh my God. This is a W vid. Cold for the sub. Mix for the 400 bets. Who would I want to be my best friend? I, I, I want to say best friend. 
if I could have any friend that's living and I'm not paying them to be my friend, chat, who would y'all pick? Any friend in the world. You're not paying them to be your friend. XQC, really? I'm not dissing that. Like, I like yeah, that would be cool. But, like, out of anybody, XQC? Me? Really? Out of anyone? Me. I don't know who I'd pick. Probably somebody really rich. I... <laughs> Probably somebody really rich. That would because then then you could like use their shit. Eh. I don't really know. Probably no, probably somebody that's like like smart. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keanu Reeves, maybe a cool actor. Will Farrell. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. You can impact almost anything of your choice. But one of the biggest differences with billionaires that is often overlooked is the ability to essentially buy time. You quite literally don't have to wait for anything. No lines, no sitting around. Just think about it. You've got your own private jet. You could so you like DoorDash McDonald's like every day. You, you like would never need to drive there. You could just like DoorDash like anything like ever. Just show up at the airport whenever you want. And it wouldn't phase you. Sit down in the plane and two minutes later, you're in the sky and can go wherever you wish. When you arrive, a driver will have already been arranged to pick you up and take you wherever you want to go. Your assistant will have already got the best table at the restaurant you mentioned wanting to eat at. Or maybe your assistant arranged for a celebrity chef to come to one yeah, of your Yeah, never get that, motherfucker. Never get that, motherfucker. Don't care how rich I was. I'm not getting that dude to sprinkle salt on my steak. That shit pisses me off. It was never funny. It was never funny. It was never... I, I don't know even why that was a trend. Bro literally just goes like this. Like, it's not that cool. Asian homes instead. At whatever time you Yeah, not getting salt bay. Yo, give me the steak. Hold the salt, though. Hold that shit. Maybe just pour it on a little bit normal. Everything you could need is take for the taken care of for you. However, believe it or not, there are some downsides to being this ultra-wealthy. Firstly, it's nearly impossible to have normal emotional relationships at this level. It can become increasingly difficult. That was the one downside I was ever going to bring up. It's the same thing. If you, have, if you have an absurd amount of power, fame, or money, people are only your friend because of that. And well, not always, but you can't tell the difference, right? Like, if you're absurdly rich, absurdly powerful, or absurdly famous, no one will be your friend just to be your friend. They're using you for some reason. Usually. Have friends and family that love you for who you are. They exist, but it's pretty hard to know which ones they are. Because your world is likely filled with yes men and people looking to take advantage at every opportunity. Damn. Your trust and connections with people are undoubtedly considerably weakened. Dating also- That's why famous people date famous people, yeah. Because they're in the same boat, so they know they're going to be treated equally. Comes an odd experience. It's not only that reason, though. Famous people date famous people because it makes them more famous. That's another reason. If you're famous and you date another famous person, oh my god, the clout. It, it goes up, right? On the one hand, some of the world's most beautiful and intelligent women are all around you at parties and events. But again, finding someone you have a genuine emotional connection with is a different story. Especially because your time is so valuable that you're always busy and unable to invest in making deep connections with new people. And even if you do find someone, the relationship balance is skewed in a strange way when you have essentially unlimited money. Because no matter whether you pay for everything or whether your partner makes their own money, either way, something about the dynamic feels off. And finally, and most crucially of all, no level of money can give you truly everything. Yo, he's throwing in some fire ass movies here too. Time, best movie ever. Because death is the great equalizer and losing loved ones and losing your own health and facing your own mortality are problems that no amount of money can solve. The Reddit poster who inspired this video and deserves full credit talks about how he met Sylvester Stallone at a party who had obviously had a very successful career he said he was such a great guy, had huge levels of wealth and luxury, a smart and beautiful wife, and yet he also had a special needs son who died young. Damn. In his words, 
Nobody has it all. Nobody. In fact, if you are watching this video and feeling poor, I think it's worth rethinking. Because in this video, we've looked at several levels of wealth. But the fact you are watching this means you are nowhere close to the bottom of the total wealth pyramid. It's easy to look up and feel frustrated that some people- Is bro saying because we have Wi-Fi? Because- because we have Wi-Fi and we can watch it on a screen? At least we're not in a third world country. I think that's what he's saying. We'll have so much more uh, Yeah, I you're right. You're right. But I mean, like, you try you could have just said that. But just look down the wealth pyramid for a moment. If you have internet access to watch this, plus some food in the fridge- True. True. Clothes on your back, a roof over your head, and a place to sleep, then you are richer than 75% of the world. 75%? 75% of the world doesn't have Wi-Fi? And a place to sleep, then you are richer I than- I knew it was a high percent, I knew it was 75. There's no way it's 75%. Oh, 47% does not use the internet. Okay, I don't know what statistic that is. 75 for what? 75% of yeah, the I world. Yeah, I knew it was a high number. I didn't think it was that big. In fact, even if you have $1 to your name right now, you are still richer than the majority of the world who are either in debt or have absolutely nothing. What this video really highlights is that rich versus poor is so arbitrary. It's not two groups. There are many, many different levels. And compared to most of the world, you might well be a lot richer than you think. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you- That was a good ass vid. That definitely was a good ass vid. Jay for the sub. All right, I'll like that. I'll like that video. That was dope. The last minute sums up exactly what I was thinking the whole time. Every time I lay my head on the pillow in my warm bed watching a YouTube video, uh, every time I tell my still living parents, I love them, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now it's basically telling you to like, even if you're not that rich, still be grateful for what you have. I think that is a good point. All right. That was a W vid chat. All right. Are we ready to get into the scary vids? We're going to watch two. We'll watch this one. And then this one too. I'll cue both of these. The hide behind. Is this going on YouTube? That video might. Should I make that video we just watched into a YouTube video chat? Comfort for the sub. Hold on. All right. Next vid. Because I could chop that down a bunch. That was like an hour reaction. I could probably make it like a 15 minute vid. All right. First video. Mimic. Short horror film. Everybody ready? Everybody locked in? Everybody locked in for the scary vid time? Daddy! Daddy! Yes, Roman? I can't sleep. I don't like my new room. You'll get used to it, I promise. Just get back to bed. You have school in the morning. Yo, I swear to God, I can't wait to be done college. Oh, my God. That just made me realize I have school in two days. Fuck. Oh, my. Dude, like, I fuck. Yo, I'm dreading it. I'm dreading it. And everybody's going to say, why don't you just drop out, Joe? You're a social media influencer. Why, you don't even need a college degree. You're a philosophy and religion major. Why don't you just drop out? Because I'm already fucking junior, dude. God damn, I'm going to my second semester of my junior year. At this point, I'm, I'm more than halfway through. Might as well just fucking finish. You know what I mean? I'm already halfway through. I'm already halfway through. If I fucking quit now, I'm just going to be like, damn, I didn't ever finish that shit. And then, the, and then the fucking, and then the fucking guilt of me not finishing is going to trump the pain of me finishing. You know what I mean? Like if I dropped out today, I'd be like, damn, like 10 years down the line, I didn't finish. That fucking sucks. And everybody always says, oh, well, you could just pick it up later. You could just go back later. You're not going to go back. You're never going to go back, right? You know that, too. Everybody that always says that knows that. Everybody, every fucking influencer I've ever met that drops out of college, well, when I'm like 30, I could go back. You're not going to go back, you little fuck. 
You know you're not going to go back. You know you're not going to finish. Don't fucking sit here and be like, oh, when I'm 45, I'm going to go and I'm going to re I'm going to reapply to college. No, you won't. No, you you never will. If you drop out, it's over. Taking a taking a gap year, different, right? If you start college and you stop, like 1% of people go back if they stop. I might as well finish. I got a year and a half left. I got a year and a half left. I got the rest of this semester and I got a whole nother year. I graduate 2024. Then, oh my God, dude, every night, every night, I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit with a bowl of fucking popcorn, bitch, and I'm just going to be macking. I'm going to be macking, watching shows, right, until I die, right? That's going to be me every day, every day, just mac, just bowl of popcorn, bowl of popcorn, maybe some strawberries with chocolate syrup on it, if I'm feeling a bit healthy, Maybe one Twinkie instead of two. And I'm going to be sitting there. I'm going to be macking that shit, right? And I'm going to have no homework. And I'm going to love it. And I'm going to love the fact that I don't have to write a paper for the rest of my life. And I'm going to literally sit there and I'm going to be like, oh my God. Yes, I miss the college years and I miss being young. But at least I never have to write a fucking philosophical paper for another day in my entire life. And I'm just going to sit there and I'm going to be macking that shit. I'm going to be watching One Piece. I'm going to be watching The Office. There's going to be no problems, bitch. Oh my God. Yes, I'm still going to have to work, obviously, but at least I don't have to fucking do homework. I hate it, chat. I fucking hate it. I love streaming, right? And, like, you'll see me on Wednesday, right? On Like, Tuesday, I'm not live. That's my first day. Wednesday, you'll see me live. Just know when I'm done streaming Wednesday, I'm going to go write fucking three papers for the next four hours. How old are you? I'm 20. Dude, that shit sucks. I fucking hate college. Comfort for the sub. It's still better than high school, but I fucking hate college. You're going to have to be brave for me, buddy. That's the only way you're going to get used to this new house. Just give it a few nights. You have a paper day one? Dude, it's college. Day one, you're getting assigned something. Usually. Okay. My school doesn't have homework. Well, I guess you live in a fucking utopia. Where the fuck are you? I want to see you. It's probably still packed up. I promise I'll look for it in the morning. It's good you're getting the experience, though. I know. It makes me more relatable. That's what my mom says. <laughs> the struggle, too. You got, it does. It does. Like, dead ass. Because, like, and no, it's, no it, it's, it's true. Like, imagine if I wasn't in college. I would not be able to say anything about school that's relatable in any way. Me going through that makes me more relatable to you guys. Just because if I drop out, then what the fuck? Like, like, I smell like I pride myself at you. Yeah, w mom. Yeah, to a degree. Dude, just watch the video. Maybe you relax and let me talk. How many times is Joe going to pause? I'll stop pausing. Shut up. Morning, okay? Stay in bed. And I'm locked in. Everybody lock in. Everybody lock in. We're locked in. I'm done. Get back to sleep. Yep, Roman. Nope. The trash monster. Damn it. Roman, what did I tell you about getting out of Dad? I want to sleep in your bed tonight. Yo, I'm grabbing a bat. I'm grabbing a bat. But, yo, it could easily be that kid is the skinwalker. Which one's the skinwalker? Imagine that scenario. Your son and a skinwalker are standing in front of you. You have to shoot one of them. How would you know which one's the real, which one's your real son? Whichever one's more annoying is the one that's real. <laughs> whichever one's the one that starts crying. Whichever one that, whichever one is the one that just starts whining about something. Connection? It ain't no damn connections. Whichever one's more annoying. Shoot the other one. Shoot the one that's less annoying. What the fuck is that? Oh, Sarah? Honey? Hi, Daddy.
One big ass smack right to that fucking thick ass forehead. I'm smushing their head, bro. Ah! That was not scary at all. That was stupid as shit. I wasn't even scared by that. And I'm scared by everything. What a dumb video. L. Comfort for the sub. Pinky for the three inch bets. Here's some videos I have to go to work. See you later. See you later. Abraham for the three. Can I get unbanned from the Discord server? You got to hit up my mods about that. I don't uh, control my Discord server like that. This doesn't count as the horror react. It doesn't. We're watching another one. Yo, this one's dumb as fuck, though. Hey, bro, man. Wake up. You want to sleep in our bed tonight? The Mimic. I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, my God. Say bless you, chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My chat knows the rule. My, my chat knows the rule. Thank you. Nice manners, chat. Short horror film to hide behind. This one's 10 minutes. So this one's gotta be good. What am I even looking at? A rock? A tree. I always think these forests are the coolest. Like, pine tree forests are the coolest, but they're also the scariest. Because you can see the most, but these are always the forests where, like, the Blair Witch type shit is. Where you would see somebody's head peek over and look at you and then run away. Literally the movie scene, uh, the setup for a fucking horror movie. Every time. The fuck is that? Oh, that's a dude. Yeah, they're called Pine Barrens. I literally... Okay. It's Bigfoot? That's not fucking Bigfoot. Why is he alone? And his legs all fucked up. Dude, like, you know how, yo, chat, you remember how earlier? Bro, I've been watching USM. I love Irvids UAG. Abraham for the fucking $50 dono. Thank you for the 50, bro. Lo I've been watching you so much. I love your videos. You, you a G. Thank you, bro. Oh my God. Thank you for the fucking $50 dono. Abraham Lull, I think I'm saying your name right. I don't know how it'd be botching that. It's a pretty simple name. Think of the fucking 50. My God. Did not expect that. It was mid-sentence. Look over, see a 50 instead of a fucking three. Think of the $50 dono, bro. Oh, my God. Big dubs for that. What the fuck was I even saying? Now I don't even remember. Oh, shit. Yeah, Cho, chat. Remember how earlier I was saying I really want to go camping when we were watching that cannibal video? If I ever do that, just just as a safety, I'm bringing a shotgun. You know what I mean? Just as a safety, I'm bringing a 12-gauge. You know, if I'm alone, especially, like, this dude has no weapons in the middle of the woods. If I, if I encounter the Blair Witch, doming her in the head, shooting her in the skull, 12-gauge, one pump. One pump like it's fucking Fortnite. I'm not, I'm not even messing with that. Like, I'm literally, or an animal. A bear comes to maul me right in the head, domed. It's easy. 
I'm not even gonna be hunting. I'm just gonna have it as as a fucking knee if a knee based thing. Bro! What the fuck? Lol sixty nine. Thank you for the fucking sixty nine dollar dono. Abraham for the fucking sixty nine lol sixty nine bro. What the fuck? That is so much. That is so many fucking. Uh, I was gonna say so many bitties, but it's not bit. So 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 big of a dono. Think of the fucking sixty-nine dollar dono. Holy shit! What the fuck? And Todd Ball. Oh, what the fuck is happening? Yo! Todd Ball for the five thousand bitties. Abraham for the sixty-nine dollar dono and the fifty dollar dono. And Marfio Marfio Phoenix for the sub. I don't know how to say that. Think of the fucking sixty-nine dollar dono from fucking Abraham and Tonbull for the fifty. Jesus Christ, that is so many fucking biddies and such a big dono. Thank you guys, genuinely, Tonbull and fucking Abraham. Thank you. And mixed tie for the three hundred biddies says W stream. This is a W stream. Well, also a very long stream. Four hour stream chat dub. Didn't even know I was live that long. I thought it's been like three and a half hours. This stream's been flying by. OBM, o -O -B obey me -um for the fucking sub as well. Yo, genuinely, Tonbull, thank you for the 5,000 biddies. And Abraham for the fucking 69 and the 50. That's nuts, dude. Actually, how long until you finish whenever this video's done? I've been live for a while. Where is he going? Dude, I like these blurry pans. I'm starting to get nervous. <laughs> You're going to see Shrek stop. What do you think the monster is going to look like? That's why I always get scared. It's going to be some weird thing with Hello? long fingers. Bro, what are you looking for? Hello? But he's skitzing out. Jesus Christ. You know, what are you doing? It, it, like, is he hurt? What? What is, what is he trying to do? Somebody redeemed headset tent? It's not even bad today. I don't know why. These videos are not scary at all. Yo, that's, that's crazy how, like, you guys send me these videos. And that's also crazy how, like, I don't know if they're going to be scary or not until we watch them. And this one's not even not scary yet. We haven't even gotten to the scary part. God, the fuck is going on? His legs all fucked up. Yeah, take out those. <laughs> Yo, you just walked that shit off though. That ain't even that bad. Just put some put some cream on it. Keep walking. You're good. What is he running out of water? Time to use that as the piss bottle. I've seen bear grills. Oh, uh, he sees something. What is it? Stop, dude. It's the pans. Just show me it. Bro, what is it? It's nothing. Bro's in the medieval mesh. Look at you, Hyena's message. Joe, I'll drop a hundred if you upper if you dab uppercut the the doll thingy. What? If you dab, I'm not doing a dab, dude. What is this fucking 2012? Hey! Hello? Oh, it ain't moving either. Oh, God, he's gonna go right up to it. You're a fucking Please! Idiot. I'm lost and I'm hurt. Oh, my I leg hurts. Help. Please. You're lost? How the fuck did... Why did you even go in the woods? 
Is it facing him? Did you come from a trail? I can't tell if it's facing hey, him or a Are you hearing me? It's definitely not facing him. Oh, not nah, it's running away from him. This is new. Normally it runs at What are you doing? You. I'm flanking that tree. Don't walk up to it. Flank it. Flank it. Flank it. Flank it. SL for the three. Wanted to say you're a legend, bro. Recently discovered your stream. Loving it. Keep doing you. Thank you. Not plug for the sub. Oh, it's going to not be there. Oh, fuck off. Joe, this shit is ass. Yo, yo, do me a favor then. Video suggestion tab. You can actually send good videos to like react to. I mean, this has 1.1 million views, right? So like, so, you know, it might get better, right? When you're sitting here and you're like, this video sucks, y'all send it to me. That's so crazy, right? It's gonna be in five nah, dude. I don't know what I would do. Chat, what would you do? It runs away from you, but it wouldn't leave me alone. I feel like you running away, it would follow you. I would try and kill it. I would try and kill it. I would run at it, and I would try and stab it. This yeah, isn't throw, funny. Yeah, throw a rock at it. Yeah, that's not gonna fucking piss it off, chat. What a good idea that is. Throw a pine cone at it. Maybe aggravate it a little bit. Jesus Christ, buddy. Pick up the pace. I'd probably start crying here. Because I'd be in the middle of the woods and I would have nobody near me. No connection either. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, I'd probably start crying. I mean, if he holds on to it and it runs away, what happens? Bro's touching it like it's going to teleport him. Ah! Jesus Christ! I'm not getting near any of those damn trees. Not getting near any of those damn trees. Oh my god, now any tree could fucking grab you. Oh, that's fucking crack, dude. Oh, now he's hobbling away. Oh, now he can pick up the pace. Now he can actually run. Yeah, yeah, you're really gonna find your way out. You're probably in fucking 30 miles of fucking forest. <laughs> GG's. GG's, it's over. Raptor and Melvin for the sub. Good shit. Somebody redeemed show ahead set that again. How many fucking times are people gonna redeem that shit? That really tripped on a log that was obviously there. Oh, hurt the same ankle too. Is it right there? Oh, it's probably staring right at him. It's not there. Yo, I might just let it kill me. I At that point, at that point, bro, it, your ankle's fucked. It can teleport. I might just let it kill me. 
I might just be like, all right, it's over. Like, what are you going to do? Yo, somebody, uh, yo, last headset, last headset that I'm doing, if somebody, if somebody redeems it again, I'm not refunding it and I'm not doing it. Just a heads up, right? So if you do it, you can't complain, right? Last one I'm doing, if you redeem a headset then again, GG's, you just lost 50 fucking thousand channel points. Not doing it again. You're not getting refunded and I'm not doing it. Yeah, hide behind a tree. They can literally teleport through the trees, bro. Good shit. What a great plan that is. Yeah, hide behind it. Bro, you gotta fight. How does he know it's not behind him? It's gonna be right next to him. I can't hide behind the mic anymore. It's behind him. It's got to be behind him. Ah! Nah! That thing looks dumb as fuck. That thing looks literally like a Halloween mask. That thing literally looked like a Halloween mask, bro. That was stupid. That was stupid as shit. Yeah, we gotta, like, I feel like, I feel like we gotta find good ones. You know what I mean? I feel like most of them are, like, th like, that wasn't bad. Like, it did give me a little jump scare. Uh, but it wasn't that good. We'll watch one more. We'll, uh, we'll watch one more. We'll watch Closing Shift. Short horror film. Gotta watch one more. Gotta watch one more. If this one's bad, it's whatever, right? <laughs> That's always scary. Walk into your car when there's nobody else in the parking lot. Why is he walking like a fucking NPC? Yo! Oh my god, that would scare the fuck out of me. Dude, you're walking and you hear running behind you. You hear running behind you and you turn around and fucking nothing's there. Oh, it's the void, dude. Oh, no battery. Oh, bro doesn't charge his phone either. You're a fucking idiot. Where's your car? Yo, I'm pole camping. I'm literally pole camping. I'm not moving from that pole. I'll wait all damn day. Oh, that's the void. <laughs> I'm just pole camping. I'm just not moving. I'm li Yeah, the little switch blade. That's really gonna do that's really gonna do some work for ya. <laughs> Bro got a one inch knife fucking holding it like it's a goddamn katana. to see that he's near the edge. I'm just running into the void. <laughs> Yo! What the fuck? Oh, they're gonna take his keys. Oh, no, they're gonna take his keys. Stop. Yo, he's fucked. He still has his car key, though. But he got no car. Somebody 
said bros lowering his render distance. Me playing Minecraft on two chunks. Me playing Minecraft on no render distance. <laughs> no render distance, low light. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's fucking loud. Imagine the darkness starts just setting in. Oh my god, it's a, it's a fucking darkness gap between him and the fucking car. I'm hitting that Mario jump. Yo, you W key those. Oh, he dies. <laughs> but he got cut up a little bit there. Mm, but he got cut up a little bit there. I don't know what he's going to do once he's in the car either. Once you're in the car, you're still in the darkness, dude. Oh, God damn it. Oh, it's coming for you. And he makes it. I'm checking the back seat. Immediately checking the back seat. I'm pouring it into the abyss. That wasn't that bad. That was actually a pretty good one. Sender for the sub. It wasn't that scary. It was, more, it was more like ominous and uncomfortable. I think that was a good one, though. That was a dub. Rip, though. He's dead as fuck. All right. That was a good stream chat. We're going to call it there. Four hours and 20 minutes today. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. We're going to be live early tomorrow because it's Martin Luther King Day. I know it's a weekday, uh, but I'm, I'm going to be going live the same as my weekend times. Uh, because most of you guys are off. So I'll be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. We're going to be doing Minecraft, uh, continuing the hardcore world that we started last week. Tuesday, I will not be live. Wednesday, we're going to be doing a bunch of FMV games. Thursday, probably a bit of Fortnite, maybe another game, maybe some Valorant. Uh, Friday, reacts, exclamation point, Discord. Join the Discord and send videos for me to react to. Uh, Saturday, uh, I don't really know. Saturday, we might start a new Sim game. Uh, or play something else. I don't really know what we're going to do this Saturday, uh, yet. Uh, but we'll figure that out. Monday is going to be Minecraft. We're going to be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Tuesday off, Wednesday, FFB games. Thursday, some Fortnite, maybe Val. Friday reacts. Saturday, I don't know yet, and Sunday reacts. Uh, but yeah, Manifest Redeemed Raid of Choice. Who am I raiding? Manifest Redeemed, who are we raiding? Manifest Redeemed a Raid of Choice. You fixed the mic, I did. Who are we raiding? Is Manifest even here? T. Nichols? Okay. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow, chat. W chat, W stream. We had a great view count. Great chat today. Your zombie girl for the fucking sub. Uh, I appreciate everybody that came out into the stream, everybody that watched. I had a fun time streaming. It was a very long stream. Um, but I thought it was fun as fuck, and I hope you guys had fun watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for some Minecraft. Tuesday off, Wednesday, FMV games, Thursday, um, some Fortnite. I'll be live tomorrow at 2. I'll be live Wednesday at 4.30. Extra base support schedule if you don't know my schedule. Uh, and join the Discord. Send video games for me to play and send videos for me to react to. I had a fun time streaming. Hope you guys had fun fun time watching, and I will see you guys later. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.